No front, no fake, and that's what you be doing. And in my hood, we call that studioing. No fake and no front. That's what you be doing. And in my hood, we call that studioing, man. And we don't do no studioing, man. Oh, y'all over there. My bad. What's poppin', man? Yeah. Caffeine, what the fuck going on? No studioing podcast. Y'all already know, man. This is the number one podcast on caffeine. Facts. This is one of the top five new podcasts of 2021. Come on. This is one of the most trending podcasts on YouTube. Let's get it. This is also nominated for podcast of the year at the podcast awards that's a fact let's go nigga and it's all thanks to y'all out here that's tuning in you already know what it is man it's your boy Geechee Gotti Marcos in the building yes sir JR I'm in this motherfucker man you know what I mean we chilling we chilling we might got a special guest man we might tap might pull up man you know she went kind of viral in this last battle with B Dot. <laughs> And Charlie Clips, and we want to hear what the fuck was she thinking? <laughs> you know what I'm Fact. saying? So we, you know, she 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 said she wanted to come on and talk about it. We give her that opportunity, man, to save face because for right now, man, we pissed off with you because you let that shit happen on B Dot's watch. Yeah. You feel me? And we don't play like that about our West Coast brothers, man. But all that to the side, Volume Nine, decent event, man. I say dope. Every battle wasn't crazy. I won't act like everything was crazy. I don't think we left with a lot of classics and nothing like that, but but we left with good battles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Some yeah. good battles that if drop niggas will watch a few of them again. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We check it out again. I definitely want to see my EFB brother, real name Brandon, and then my, my nigga Suge again. I have to tune that one in again, see how that went really again on second and third watches and shit like that. Uh Casey and Vixen, yeah, that's another one I'll definitely watch again, man. They might have been battling the night on the card with all I those things. I think fellas. they was, yeah. honestly. I think, I they think was. so, too, you know man. You know what I'm saying? I keep hearing people try to say Easy and Sean. Nah. And I'm like, hey, a good battle, too. But Casey and Vixen, I think, like, even with just the way it ended, the whole mm-hmm. third, both of their thirds being so Crazy, powerful yeah. like that, it was, it, was, it was a fight, you know what I mean, at that last one. Because I think it was 1-1 going to the third, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, I agree. I agree so with like that. that. The way that theirs ended was, was battle of the night for me. Clips and beat out. We spoke about that. Kind of like a little funny battle. Come both of them had a little hiccups in the second, mm-hmm. but beat out third was one of the, one of those thirds. You know what I'm saying? One of those real powerful thirds that he do. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Clips came out swinging in the first though. He definitely made it a fight. I had beat out winning though, man. I seen the votes had Clips. Yeah. Me, I felt like the third round was the like the clearest round won and I gave that to be that I feel like the first was up and down could go either way mm-hmm. the second even though Clips I did the moments with the freestyle of course he gonna get that but if technically that was like a wash round because they yeah. both fucked up you yeah. know what I'm saying and you know how it go when he get them little choke styles yeah Clips just know he <laughs> like, a vet so yeah, you can't take yeah. that from him it's like you got yeah. his damn near like, like shit nigga you get extra credit cause it's like you kept going and uh-huh. figured out a way the shit might have been the simplest shit ever yeah. you see what I'm going here and <laughs> you know what I'm finna say <laughs> Why the fuck would you look over here when you know I got the K? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. wait. You thought the K was the gun? I'm talking about the letter. <laughs> mail it in. Poof, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. The letter, mail. Yeah, you thought I didn't know about you, huh? Like, you feel me? He always got that. And it's like, niggas waiting on that shit. Yeah, you know, Okay, man. you think I'm fucking up, but really I'm not. <laughs> Your name is B, but... I'm the one with the dot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, That's a fact. So, and, then, and then finally, I think he was like searching for it and then chant whatever she said in the background. Mm-hmm. And then it's boom. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He was able to catch that wave that he needed to get into that big bag of, of haymaker freestyle. Excuse me, y'all. But yeah, you know what I mean? So in that second, if you got to be technical, I'm pretty sure you got to give it to Clips because he found the way to jump out the, the choking bag without really choking and continue to rap. You know, which is a skill in itself, you know, yeah. you know what I mean? But I still had Doc kind of with the win of the battle. Yeah, and it take guts, too, to to do that. Like, a lot of dudes ain't going to do They're going to try to get uh, that shit back. They're going to try to get it back. Yeah. I think that was the difference. Doc tried to get his back. He still ended up getting it back a little bit, but it just, you lose momentum, you know? You mm-hmm. Sometimes you just be like, fuck it, just cut the round. Like, Twerk yeah. did the same thing in his first and third, where it was like, mm, damn. Yeah. Especially in that first where I was thinking like, you know what, man, just cut this shit. That's what I was saying. Like, it's I already saying, over. Yeah. When you first done, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You out of here. Surf went first. He already done whoop. Yeah. Went crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You, your best bet stopped the first right now. You already choked. Mm-hmm. 
nigga, let's bomb out in this second. Yeah. Whenever you can remember, nigga, get the rapping that first again. Also, yeah. let me get it together exactly. like Lux. Exactly. Like Lux. Get the shit yeah. you remember and then bomb off with the rest of that second. Yeah. And then, nigga, oh, man, now your second is looking like, you know what some, I mean? Like, some crazy like, shit. Like, hey, yo, this nigga was here to work. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and look a finished, little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Then you go 1-1 one, one into the third, you know what I'm saying? But he fucked up in the third, too, but. Say, hey, excuse me, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually, man, I ain't gonna lie. I've been up, man, all day, every day, and I still got, still can't go to sleep, man, on the real, man. This is crazy, man. Like, it's, it's, it's wild, man, right now. Christmas and all these, oh, man. man I'm God. trying, y'all. I'm trying, y'all. Trust right, me, right carry on. Man, you feel Planning me? Planning every story. Oh, man. <laughs> Fuck, oh, man. No, it's no, always fuck money Christmas. to spend, too. Yeah. Like, I just made some money, right? Yeah. Like, you ever hate when you make some money? Like, I, I counted some money. Like, ooh, okay, this is money. I just made this. This is good money. You know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, nigga, I'm just looking at it like little pieces of the money going every day. Like, boom, that money gone. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. That was money. That was put up money mm -hmm. that I made. And I'm just looking at it like, damn, nigga, no, got to spend it on that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, here you go. Yep. Mm, damn. And then right on top of having to do all that, that the money been going Christmas shopping going. Do you know what else don't stop? Bills. Bills. <laughs> yeah. They don't give a fuck if it's Christmas. Hell no. Nah. Cardinal doing the twenty second. <laughs> Got to pay that. Mm -hmm. You know what happened right <laughs> after Christmas? The first of the month. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Insure, Come right car back. Insurance and shit. Car insurance. Phone bills, Cable nigga. Bill. Cable bills, nigga. Don't end that nigga, nigga. Now imagine me too. You been in my crib. You know. <laughs> I got down there every app. I be forgetting, nigga. My shit hit next thing you know. Netflix, Peacock, fucking Hulu, Prime, Hulu. Nigga, nigga I'm like, damn. <laughs> fuck, I got all y'all for us. Nigga, them tears start adding up. <laughs> Them shit started looking like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hundreds and hundreds, nigga. Yeah. Playing, oh, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying, nigga? All these stupid ass miscellaneous bills. Yeah, man. Start coming, you know what I'm saying? Other little shit, insurance. Amazon and Prime. Oh, man. <laughs> Bro, shit start coming through, man. And not to mention, you. Get, that's why I try not to go nowhere as much as I can because then that gas is another one. Gas, oh, yeah. especially right now, gas so hard. Five dollars. It's like, bro, you Again. always got, it's like, damn, nigga, you, you, you always out like, what's up, car? <laughs> it's like, nigga, damn. just filled you up. Yeah. Where you, like, nigga, I know I ain't went nowhere. And nigga, that nigga, nigga, get in that car, nigga, that motherfucker be right back down to E. Mm -hmm. You be like, man, I went, you, you start contemplating places like, all right, I went there. <laughs> I came all the way back on this side of town. Damn, you man, know what I'm saying? Bro. You feel me? That shit, that shit start to do that to you, man. Like, I'm so tired of gas, bro. Like, gas is something I'm sick they of. They're going to get an electric car in a minute. Yeah, I'm sick of it, man. <laughs> I'll be lying to you if I said I would. I'm tired of it, man. Because you know what? A lot don't. Where, where I'm, why I'm tired of the gas? Because anybody that's driving already know. You you be contemplating on, man. Let me just let this bitch go to you. Yeah, you know, you be having that like, can I make it without having to stop at the gas station? Because nobody really, you get tired of going to the gas stations because it's like me when I get to the gas station. It's like sometimes I want to just put a dub, but it's like fuck it, I'm gonna just fill this bitch up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And some days it's like, man, I don't feel like doing this whole 60, 70 in this bitch to fill my shit up. I need for show sixty. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. on the rip for show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like might be sixty five. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. good thing I ain't in the big truck and all that right now. You feel me? But, nigga, that right there, for show for show, every time, nigga, you know what I mean? And then you get to, so I'll be on that, like, fuck. I'm t I don't like just, you feel me? Because you put that dub in, nigga, that shit get ate up. Hell yeah. Dub ain't what it used to be. A dub ain't even half a tank for me. A Hell nah. A dub ain't what it used to be. <laughs> Back yeah. in the day, you give a nigga a dub for gas? No, nigga, take your Jamaica. Hell yeah. Nigga you know was like, saying? I got five on it. Nigga, yeah. take that nigga from, from fucking Carson Car to LA oh, or something. Man. Nigga. You give a nigga <laughs> five and it's take you as the man back then. <laughs> man, nigga, try to give a nigga five and it's take him. be like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You might as well just get that to the bus driver. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? On the real, you get all day real. pass with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You go completely places. I ain't going that way. And you for a dub, a nigga be like, man, I don't think I'm going that way, my nigga. You can keep that. You got down to give a nigga a hundred for gas. Man. And nigga you know said 80 every five days. I'm trying to crazy. Uh, man, I believe you, Craig. I'm telling you. I'm dropping 60 in that bitch every, every week for sure. Hell nigga, at least, that. nigga, nigga, every week is 60, 60, 60. Nigga, so by the end of the month, nigga, I already spent about 200, 300 on gas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that shit coming like that, nigga. Boom. It ain't, ain't no, and that, that's for sure a bill. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, on the real. Try, nigga, just was able to, you know, save some money on with, with, with the food stamp car. Say, you know what I mean? Save the nigga on the, yeah. on, the, on, the, on the groceries. Because nigga, yeah. nigga, for like years, nigga, nigga, nigga been cashing out. <laughs> Full money, full money. We should all just get food. Like everybody should just be entitled to food stamps. Right? Yeah. Like fuck spending regular money on. Like once you start spending food stamps, you really don't want to go back to spending regular. Nah, regular money. money on food is like that's like a crime. That shit hurt. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? When you see four, five hundred on the stand, and you know you got to pay cash, man, fuck that. You, know, you start contemplating how hungry you be. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna put this. Yeah, back. cause when you got really stamps, need. you get ca- you get candy, you and get chips, all kind of shit, type like, of dope ass shit. Yeah, yeah. When it's when it's when it's motherfucking cash, <laughs> oh nigga, you buying steaks to sit up in there for for months. Like, nah, I need we got we got we got to think for the for the future. <laughs> nigga, gotta push it to gonna be in the deep freezer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You already right. know you got that deep freezer shit when you spending cash. Uh huh. Like, yeah, well, just in case we ain't gonna go back next month, <laughs> we be able to pull this big ass fifty slab of rib in this uh. <laughs> And this goddamn nigga 20 pound ground beef out. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? On the hood, nigga. That shit don't be no joke, my nigga. Hell that shit be nah. different, man. So yeah, I, I feel for niggas, man, doing these, especially these holidays, cause we got kids too, man. You know what I'm saying? Try to preserve, man. You know. I definitely feel for those with the smaller kids because you know they 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 toys and stuff add up. You know, right now, fortunate, you know what I'm saying, uh two of my boys, they eight and ten, you know what I'm saying? So they are right, man, Roblox, man, Apple 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 cards, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And a video game, you know what I'm saying, on the real. They got the Xbox. Now the PlayStation 5 is out. I got a PlayStation 5. It's been kinda hard to find another one. I was gonna get one for Christmas, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. But something interesting happened the other day, man. My kid was like, man. They had that Spider-Man game because I used to have a PS4. I still do got the PS4, you feel me? But they had the Xbox because the Spider-Man game, they used to always play it on my PS4. It's like, man, I just want to play that Spider-Man. I just want to get that. And I know it's a new one on that PS4. So I said, yeah. <laughs> I got something for y'all. Yeah. Can't wait for Christmas. Came up. Came up. Man, God, oh, yeah. Here's PS4 for the be oh, right there. Shit. And guess what, kids? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You can have this PS4. You can have this PS4. I got five <laughs> Spider-Man games for you. You know what I'm saying? On the real. Because I'm like, nigga, I'm such for that PS5. But I'm like, nah, I'm going to have to kill somebody for one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On the real. Nigga, them motherfuckers hard to come by right now, man. On the real. Nigga. And they putting the prices up. I just seen somebody the other day letting one go for like $1,200. <laughs> i am like, man, hell no, man. Niggas crazy. Niggas, I'm on, man. Ain't that serious? Niggas taxing, man. Six hundred dollars I got for you. Yeah. Really five fifty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Five fifty, y'all. You know what I mean? Six hundred you might could give me because it's the holidays and I need it. Mm-hmm. But all that seven, eight, nigga, I ain't ain't that serious, man. Man, nigga. All that. That's doing too much, man. You know what I'm saying? You 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 hustlers, man. Y'all hustling hard, man. Doing yeah. too much, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that. Y'all making y'all put some smiles in these kids' faces, lower the price so everybody can get one. I hope the motherfuckers get stuck with them and don't be able to get <laughs> yeah, them off because yeah, they yeah. just come out with a gang of them. Like, yeah, no access to everybody. Well, yeah, it's coming though. That's what they don't know. <laughs> yeah. About two, three more months, they finna stop doing all that weird shit. There's finna be so many in the stores <laughs> for the right price. Ain't uh-huh. nothing you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On the hood. Like, nigga, everybody gonna have them. Nigga on the real. And that's when we gonna double back. But yeah, like right now, yeah, so. The age they at, they made it easy on me, man. I get them Robux cards and Apple cards and all that type of shit so they can just put the money on their phones and their iPads and mm-hmm. play it and run it up, which that which I'm like, okay, yeah, that's even better. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. I, I can do that all day. Man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. You know what I mean, how y'all feeling about the holidays, man? Man, um, <clears throat> I'm all right. I'm all right with it. It's, it's a cool uh, holiday season. Nothing different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nothing different. Trees same in the house. Same up. Uh, nah, we ain't got no tree. It's it's kind of different for us because of the situation with my sister uh, passing yeah, last year. So yeah, yeah, it ain't really the same right now. Nah, I hear that, man. Yeah. Sorry about that. Still, you dig what I mean? Yeah, nah, it's all good. But even in my house, we didn't get the tree. I mean, we might do the tree. It's never too late. It's still almost Christmas. We might can do it today, tomorrow, somewhere. I just, I, 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 only reason I, I'm telling my my wife like I don't like taking the tree in. I don't like taking the tree out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't that serious? Yeah, for me. yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Ain't getting no fake tree though. Nah, no, I ain't gonna lie though. When I was a kid, nigga, mom, once she started cutting that fake tree, I was cool with it because <laughs> it was so easy to just plug, boop, 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 take it back down, put that shit back in the garage, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, nigga, all that real tree got to do all that and this shit getting all on you. I get tired of that shit. They got time for, especially if you get one of the white ones. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Nah, shit ones, everywhere. That's the only ones we used to get though. We yeah, didn't get green trees. You gotta trees. get the white ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, I mean, at that point, now it's Christmas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kids love that white tree. Feel uh, like it's Christmas. It smell man. like snow and smell shit. Smell like snow. You feel me? Like, come on. But for me, now nah, fuck all that. Yeah. I will take you to where the trees at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And then kids ain't playing with them trees. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like for real though. Back in the day, you know what I'm saying? When he was younger, he was, when I was a kid, he had a house, get the tree, put all the gifts under there. Kids ain't even on that type of time no more, man. Yeah. They they don't, they they not. Uh, give me the gift. Open it up so I can get to get my day going so I can run it up. That's that's it. They ain't got time for the whole ambiance of the Christmas. They don't even enjoy it. I stopped enjoying it. When I was a kid, I remember I man, once I kinda like realized, like, man, mom's doing all this, man. Mm-hmm. Well, man <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, I'm on. 12 o'clock, I'm up. Yeah. Let's get it going. <laughs> 12 o'clock, I'm up. Let's get it. It's already midnight. Hey. It's a new day. Let's Bruh. get it going. Let's, let, 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 where it's at? Bro, you know tell me. Please tell me I ain't the only one that, like, used to get up so, like I go to sleep early the day before Christmas wake up super early and be mad if my parents went up to open them presents yeah fact like, I'd be hot like, hell yeah wake your ass up I'm telling you nigga shit nigga I'll be the nigga in there opening them <laughs> I'm already on them you know what I'm saying <laughs> It is what it is, nigga. I see my name. I hate when they don't put the names on them, but you, you yeah. know, but you like you. Oh, and, and the funniest shit about Christmas when you was a kid, the biggest box sometimes be the weakest shit. Yeah. You see that big ass box? You thought it was something crazy. You try to save it, you for, try the to save it for the last one. Open it up, then it's just a whole box. Your grandma done knitted a sweater or some shit. <laughs> what the fuck y'all put this in the tree for? Oh me! You gave me this in a plastic bag, man. You know what I'm saying? Deal with these shit. Oh me, nigga. I used to steal the candy canes off the tree, nigga. My mom used to be hot. I used to love them doing candy that. canes. Like, yeah, now that, was, now that was Christmas. I love them candy canes. I ain't gonna lie. Them she used like, to get them the Jolly Rancher ones. Better than regular motherfucking uh, yeah. peppermints and shit. Uh -huh. Them motherfuckers are good as a bitch. My mom used to get the Jolly Rancher ones, though. So we really used to be fucking them up. Nine later ones and all candy that. Candy canes ain't even the same no more, man. I don't see no nah. candy canes. Nah. Man. Nah, it's not. It don't feel like Christmas don't in the feel, city, man. I ain't seen man. the candy cane. My kids ain't even go to the candy cane is, bro. probably watch that shit on Zach and Cody or whatever the fuck on TV. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got to get Christmas back. Let's save Christmas this year, man. Like, you know what? I was just talking. Now I'm thinking about it. Let's save Christmas, man. Let, 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 let's get trees, man. Let, let's get the music. <laughs> let's get the. Make sure you let the kids drink the apple cider on the New Year's and all. Let, mm -hmm. let's, leave, let's let the traditions live, man. Yeah, The man. way we live, man. Like, give them some history, man. Like, God damn, stop doing these kids so wrong, man. They need to enjoy this shit, man. <laughs> Fuck, man. Because yeah. I, mean, I mean, shit, they need to as much as it costs. On the real. On the real. I ain't going to lie. We got to that age, though, now. We probably feel like how our parents feel. They spend so much. They just ready to be over. Get out mm -hmm. my face. Yeah. yeah. Go on somewhere <laughs> with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Go. I ain't going to see you for the whole day. I ain't going to see you for the whole day. Yeah. yeah. I used to See, we used to get toys like the bikes and the, and the skates and shit that you can go outside and play with. So that would be dope. Like, I remember the first time when I got the uh, the basketball court. Like, nigga, on the real. And they put the court up, boom, put it in my backyard. And it was lit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, a whole block can come through. Nigga, let's play. Let's, let's get it going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, sometimes you'll bring it to the front. You know what I'm saying? Let it play in the middle of the street, you know what I'm saying? But you be one of them kids, they get the dougie doing too much of your shit. Take my shit in the backyard. <laughs> yeah, so my shit going back in the backyard. Niggas finna break my shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga, they here hanging all the real cause your mama ain't buy you no coin. <laughs> fuck out of here. Nigga, shit going to the backyard, yeah, bitch. Fuck that. Niggas ain't playing on my shit no more this week. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, nigga? Nigga be seeing you in your yard bouncing the rock like, yeah, bitch, I got my own court. <laughs> nigga, I'm playing school, stupid. I come home with hoop. Oh, and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, on me. So, like, nigga, they got to get it back to that, man. Like, you know, just enjoying it. I want to see the kids enjoying it, man. You know what I'm saying? Turning up for the holidays, man. Hell yeah. I definitely am. Chip too. is in the chat, man. Salute to Chimp. In the motherfucking chat. Now, we do got to talk about it because it's going on and everybody, you know. And the culture is talking about it. I mean, it's, it's, it's huge, especially for L.A., for the West Coast scene. We just lost Slim 400, and then now, days ago, we lose Drake, yo, the ruler. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, I mean, rest in peace. Condolences to the family, loved ones, friends, everybody. I know a lot of people who knew him and, you know, personally and things of that nature and was friends with him and things, so I know they taking it hard. Me, more so just, I mean, a music acquaintance knowing him that way. I didn't really know him on a personal tip, you feel me? So, mm -hmm. But as far as the legacy he left musically and, and, and in the industry and things of that nature, you know, you're going to feel for it when you're in this game because it's like, damn, man, it's always sad to see a, a black entrepreneur, a black businessman, you know, get slain out here in these, you know, can't even say in these streets in this situation because yeah. it happened at the concert. Yeah. <clears throat> My question is... Or not even so much of a question, more so of a statement. It's like, we got to just do better, man. Now, I ain't here to talk about his beefs with niggas and, and all that. Because, I'm, I mean, it is what it is. If that's what was going on, that's how it happened. I ain't picking no sides, choosing who right, wrong, none of that. I'm talking about just the, 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 the killing of each other, period. I'm using him for the example because he's the latest star that we, you know, can, uh, that we can uh, put put in that position to talk about that. So, yeah, it just gotta get a little. It gotta be a level of like yeah. on both parties. It gotta be a level of like we we killing our own soldiers, man. Yeah, man. Cycle like, gotta end. 
Like it, <clears throat> it, it's fucked up because niggas be fathers. You know what I'm saying? So now it's kids growing up without fathers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and like I say, it ain't nobody right, nobody wrong in, in no situation because we don't know who's done what to who to, to whatever. You know what I'm saying? To me, man, we not we ain't on that end of it. I'm talking about period, man. Like that shit starting to get to the point where it's like, God damn, nigga, like. Every day a nigga look up, somebody getting smoked, somebody getting stabbed, somebody getting ran over by a car, some type of death by force from someone else, you know, and it ain't, it just ain't, it just ain't like, it, I mean, damn, like, and I, we, I mean, trust me, I'm somebody, grew up, seen it, did it all, it's all, it's, I get it, but at this point, like, we gotta, like, somehow we gotta sit down and figure out where we going wrong. Yeah. Like you know what I mean, like to the point to where like air, like it, it, it's because somewhere it's a disconnect, because at at, at the point of, of where we have right now, it's not even the deaths and things that that has happened in this. It, we not even really, it's not even gang related. Yeah, some of these deaths, you know what I'm saying? Like this ain't even so. It ain't even you can't even say like all oh, these hoods and this hood first, this hood. It's just like yeah. yo, just like yo, I ain't fucking with this nigga. These niggas ain't fucking with this nigga. And it's just and motherfuckers, you feel me? Bitches setting niggas up, niggas setting each other up. It just it's just all out chaos and pandemonium, man. And it's like you ain't we ain't gaining nothing at the end of the day. All we doing is losing our people as black people. Yeah, I'm talking to us like we losing our people at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like. Or, or, or people that can make a difference. You know what I'm saying? I'm, they don't got to be a rapper or a rich nigga. We doing this every day. This, these, these dudes, just the examples that we see on the internet, but these people getting shot right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta figure it out. Got to figure it out, man, because cause at the end of the day, we going to all be gone. Our kids going to be out here raising they self. You know what I'm saying? And kids going to be out here raising they selves because... Some motherfuckers gonna be dead, and the other half gonna be in jail for the killing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Kids yeah. finna be up, and it's the cycle, like you say, continues when 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 everybody else grew up without their fathers, cause they was dead or they was in jail or they just left because it was too much going on. Yep, niggas growing up angry. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't what we want for the future. Yeah. When we could, when we already, we already an example of what happens from that. You know what I'm saying? Like we see what happens from that. Nothing good come from that. You know what I'm saying? It, it, we, we see that, so it's like we can stop it now, and we can we can empower. We trying to empower a new generation of businessmen, man. Like right now, that the world is so open to businesses, and we trying to we trying to create generational wealth. Like we should be teaching more of that. You know what I'm saying? Like when we and and, and that goes back to what we talked about last time. Even with these rappers, man, they do got a duty with their platform. Yeah. Because I will say this. A lot of people know when these rappers be having beef with each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of these motherfuckers are egg it on in the in the in the in the media, egg it on and all that shit, and it's going until something happened, and then it's oh man. Yeah, like whoa, we didn't really think he was gonna do it. Like that'd be the energy That's from the him. energy. Like, yeah, like we didn't really think he was gonna yeah, do nothing. Yeah. Like nah, nigga, what Fuck you expect? All that. <laughs> nigga, yeah, say something. You know, like niggas is getting too much money as niggas is getting like so, 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 so no matter how gangster a motherfucker is, a motherfucker, nigga talking, when they got some money he playing with, a nigga got enough sense logically if, if the right motherfucker talking to him. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, you fucking up your bread. Mm-hmm. Bro, you cutting off, you cutting off a whole demographic of people. You know what I'm saying? That where 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 you ain't gonna be able to get no money where because you ain't gonna be able to perform here you ain't gonna be able to go to this city you ain't gonna be able to go to, because somebody gonna want to do something to you yeah you a liability you now. a liability so look man chill that out fuck all that let's beef and whoever you gotta be be the bigger man look I ain't got I'm, I'm cool I say your name fuck all that I'm too cool to say your name listen man hey you I don't beef with you that type of shit yeah me and you we ain't got no problem let me hey let me reach out to you in the DM hey ain't no smoke homie it's all mm-hmm. good you ain't no sucker. You being smart because you know what you willing to do. You willing to you willing to die for your shit. But once you dead at the end of the day, it ain't nothing. What what? Yeah, you right. know what I'm saying. I don't give a m- motherfuckers will be like, oh, a nigga done ran. Nigga, I'd rather seen a nigga ran off, made it, and then a the motherfucker get killed because at the end of the day, one nigga ain't y'all ain't finna do nothing for a nigga when he dead. Mm-hmm. Ain't, ain't there one of you fans finna help pay for the funeral? Nah, one of you kids. fans finna do nothing for their kids. Ain't there one of you fans finna make sure they mama straight. Man, none of you fans finna make sure, nigga, that they music continues to, to 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 live on for real like that, nigga. Y'all gonna go to the next hot motherfucker. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So 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 the pressure you put on the motherfucker to 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 to, to try to prove they self to y'all is is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? And, and I feel like any artist should know they don't gotta prove that to nobody. 
Your your job is to make it home safe. You got kids, you got a lot of you got you, know, you got responsibilities. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got family to take care of. Your job is to entertain the people and go on back about your business, man. When them beefs start coming on and it's too and it ain't and it don't be about nothing half the time. Yes, but I never understood the shit like the beefing with motherfuckers that ain't even from the same state as you to the point where y'all want to kill each other. Man, and I never understood like when nigga when you you in a position of where you making money and you made a way to provide, bro. So why do you still want to be attached to? That beef. lifestyle You know what I'm saying You wanna be attached To that beef You wanna be attached To trying to shoot niggas Like bro, you, you rich yours. nigga you rich. Like, That's what we I, Like nigga we, like, that's, that's the whole goal Like I nigga And then you beef And then a lot of times You at that level You beefing with motherfuckers Who might not have That kind of money Yeah Might not have That type of shit going on So you know what they got <laughs> They got time Yeah To plot They them, got nothing but time All day to plot Like okay yeah Alright nigga I'm, It's on You know what I'm saying And this happened way too often To all to a lot of rappers That's why they saying Rapping being such a dangerous job Because they still human So you might see a rapper Might get mad Talk some shit A nigga online Say some shit back you know what I'm saying? I done caught myself saying crazy shit to motherfuckers. And I be serious too. Like, nigga, yeah. I done caught and DM niggas. Like, what you say your number is? What city you in? When I get there, I'm going to make sure I call you. Done caught numbers and yeah. been in random cities and all. Because you be like on that yeah. type of time. And I get it. And I get the mental. So I understand. It's like you be human and you be and you get so tired of motherfuckers poking at you and mm -hmm. playing with your name and shit. You know what I'm saying? But you have to understand that it ain't worth it. I have to understand that. Like, man, this shit don't even be worth it. Half of these motherfuckers be trolling and playing and then they getting somebody else who not trolling and playing to get serious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? It's somebody else that's really out there that's really on and these motherfuckers pumping you up and doing some shit and trying to run trying to run you into a walk. They ain't got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The <laughs> motherfuckers, find, motherfuckers find joy in beefing with you. You know On the real though, yeah. Like, oh yeah, I beef, I beef with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Telling bitches and shit. Like, yeah, look at this DM. Me and this nigga going at it. This all like a you know what that I'm shit saying? is like lame. it's lit. Like it's lit. Me and this nigga really got some shit. It's up with us. Yeah, the nigga with the blue jack nigga on that video. That's me. I'm beefing with him. That little song he talking about. <laughs> you like, talking yeah, about me? Yeah, broke niggas ain't got a chance. That's me he calling me a like, <laughs> like clown shit, Fucking dog. Cornball. You know what like, I'm saying? That shit weak as hell. And it be costing niggas their life because this shit real. You feel me? At the end of the day, because you got so many motherfuckers out here. Here, man, and, and, and you never know who attached to who mm -hmm. and who fucking with who, and you know what I'm saying. And it's so, man, when there's money involved, you got so much jealous motherfuckers. There be other niggas that got money too that be jealous of you because the way you look with you, or the way you move with you, or the way people fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, and and that's and that's a real thing, man. So for me, I'm just saying. As a people, in and out of hip hop, all that shit, man, we gotta figure out a way to just be on some like. I mean, we say it all the time to stop in the violence, it never really stop. It gotta, but it gotta be like a cease, like it gotta be some type of medium where we got some, where we got a voice. We need a culture again of putting, like, hey, we don't need no police and all that involved. I'm talking about us as the culture where we speak up and we voice it, like, hey, we ain't going for that. Mm -hmm. Quit all that, man. Like, fuck is we doing? Hell no. Nah. Don't go over, if y'all don't like them niggas, don't go over there. Y'all stay over here, you stay over there. You feel me? Do y'all thing. Get y'all money. They handle your business. Everybody. From the biggest to the smallest hood. You know what I mean? Everybody in the void. Biggest to the smallest rapper. We, we ain't promoting no beefing, man. Rap what you want to rap. Don't be dissing niggas doing all that extra shit if it ain't worth it. Because we stopping all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, we made a career. We, we, the, the hottest records ain't diss records. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We like them, don't get it wrong. Sometimes niggas going at it. Like, I'm a battle rapper, we diss each other, but it's the profession. That's a profession of dissing and understanding. So our skin tougher. Yeah. Like, we know we gonna stand on stage, say some crazy shit, shake hands, hug after all this shit. You dig what I'm saying? It is what it is. You jump into this knowing this. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes a rapper be like, ain't knowing that. It's like, nigga, oh, this nigga, oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. even in battle rap, you know who you can and can't bring. You gotta prep your people to understand what they coming into. Mm -hmm. Hey, yo, this nigga might say something about moms. I know it's young T, but it's battle rap, bro. You know what I'm saying? This nigga might say something about this and that and this and that, but we here. You know what I'm saying? We gotta understand it's a business. We getting paid to be here to entertain. Do what we gotta do. Have that level of respect to know what is and ain't off limits. You dig what I'm saying? And do that. You know what I'm saying? If it's going too far, we know that, hey, man, you need to, hey, chill that out. You're doing too much, homie. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get like that in the industry as well, though. Do you think the Drake and Kanye West was something like that? that kind of I don't think Drake and Kanye shit was to the level of no, like, I, don't, I mean, I don't know if that, you know what I'm saying? Like, Drake and Kanye yeah. wasn't ever going to kill each other, if you ask me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To me, it was always competitive. They might talk that shit, did some wild shit, but it was competitive, you know, you know what I mean? But them even bridging that gap is dope. That's what I'm saying, though. Salute Jay Prince putting them together and doing that. You know what I'm saying? I probably didn't think it was to the level of killing, but I don't know them niggas when them niggas' mind might have was going to do something to each other. You know what I'm saying? So salute to Jay Prince for bringing that together and, you know, setting that up. But we need more of that, though. And at the level of, of everybody, though, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't like, you can't just do it with Drake and Kanye. You got to do it with everybody. 
You know what I'm saying? When you see it, like we, we, when we know it's the niggas, that's enough that where they gonna be out here continuously doing their thing and gonna be running around. We gotta have somebody that that step in and yo, and we all gotta step in because it ain't just one motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? If you see it going on in Cali and we got a voice like you know what I'm saying, that's for everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's for the Snoop Dogs, the the, the you know what I'm saying, the Two Shorts, the E40s, the Ice Cubes. You know what I'm saying? Myself. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas, we all. Excuse me You know what I mean We we all got a point A voice that we need to Like utilize Excuse me again That we need to utilize You know what I'm saying For the better exactly. A lot of these young artists Look up to some of these Older <laughs> artists Too so Hearing it from them Is bigger than Sometimes hearing it from Yo you know what I mean Like sometimes it take that Yeah Imagine Cube calling me Like hey, yo Gotti I seen that shit you You saying with, yeah, Kill it out man mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying like nigga, you know what I mean? With yeah. some hip hop shit, I mean, like you feel me? This the West, we we won, bro. I'ma call him too, get y'all on the phone, and can we get that? Man, we what what is it gonna take to you know what I mean? Subside like this, you know what I mean? And get back to y'all getting money. Y'all don't want to see nothing happening. You hearing that from somebody like Cube? Not saying he's some god or nothing, but you respect him for what yeah. his body of work and exactly. how long he been able to do this. So he's telling you like this: how you get to this level, to where you living like now, niggas. You don't think these young West Coast rappers want to live as long as Ice Cube is right now? Man. Making movies and continuously going, ain't got no beats going right now. Owning all these multiple businesses, want to hear that from you? And I ain't saying he ain't called and did it. I don't, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. We need more of that. We need it on the front line too, though. Like we need to hear it. You know what I'm saying? We need to see it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like we need to we need to see that. You know what I mean? Like like it gotta be to that because it's all that politicking of who cool and who ain't cool and who like man. Ain't sh stop all that, man. Y'all get too much money, man. It's this millions and billion dollar business right here. <laughs> Way too much dough, man. To be you know what I'm saying to be fucking off, man. Because now you can't spend it. Yeah. When you dead, you can't spend it. It's yeah, gone. Somebody else spending it. Somebody else spending it. And, and half the time, it ain't none of our people's. Cause we don't own the labels, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So now, nigga, that's some some, some rich white man's son who's spending, you know what I mean, a dead black man money. Yeah, that's a you fact. You know what I'm saying. For the rest of his life, he can eat. You know what I'm saying. And your kids can't eat, but you know what I mean. You done made another person kids rich. You feel me? So no, nah, we gotta get it together, man. Hey. We gotta get that shit together, man. Like I say, that wasn't about no particular person, but definitely inspired by. You know what I mean? Rest in peace, Draco. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, definitely rest in peace to Draco. Nigga don't, you know what I mean? Nigga don't uh, want to uh, see none of these artists from nowhere, dog. Nah, it was fucked up when we seen Slim. Same way it was fucked up with Dolph. Same way it was fucked up with Vaughn and Mo3 and Nipsey and the list goes on. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's fucked up. You know what I mean? We keep, we, we losing. We losing out here, man. You know what I'm saying? We losing, man. We got to get it together. A lot of that shit could have could have been handled, too, because a lot of those deaths was in the, uh, not all, but some was in the was in the media of beefs and things of that nature that people seen coming. You know what I'm saying? That could have been stopped, you know what I mean? But, yeah, and, and all those platforms that egg those beefs on, man, y'all got to quit that. All those platforms that, that egg them on and keep them going and, Try to, you know, post it, oh, this person said this, and taking tweets and shit and twisting it. Because sometimes motherfuckers don't even be talking about somebody, and they have it up. Such and such response to all that clickbait shit. You look yeah. on YouTube right now, it'd be some shit saying such and such response to, and the whole video, nigga ain't saying nothing. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, them little clickbait titles. Clickbait I mean. titles, and you got to think. Sometimes mm. street niggas don't even click a title. All they got to do is see it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Nigga ain't got time. We, don't, we ain't got time to be looking on YouTube. Oh, nigga said what? They want. Hey, I've been hey, nigga ain't finna investigate. Oh, the title say, oh, nigga, 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 talk, nigga talks, whoopty whoop says he's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's it. That's all I need to see the title. Fuck all that. Mm -hmm. I'm on you. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Somebody then the then the world gets spit. Like, yeah, I seen that video. Nigga was saying you like a bitch or somewhere. And then oh yeah, he said you a bitch and a hoe. And uh, then the story get twisted fifty many times. It never even happened because you two motherfuckers never got a chance to get on the phone and figure it out. Yeah. And then you know what I'm saying? One person done said it to the next person, it just keeps going, man. We gotta figure that out. We gotta stop all that, man. Stop all that, man. For yeah, before we lose, before we lose everybody, man, and we ain't and it ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't yeah. worth it, man. Cause shit Somebody need I mean the kids Gonna need somebody To look up to We gotta protect ours At the end of yeah. the day We gotta protect ours man Like we all won As a As a as this right here At the end of the day We all won Because of that That's You know fact. what I'm saying So we gotta protect ours Because of that Like if any If it ain't because of Nothing else Protect it because of that Like nigga oh, Hey man What is a squabble What is a whatever You know what I'm saying A disagreement Cool but like we going to like to the point right now where it's like, man, it's all that's going on. Yeah. And I'm talking about for the youth, it's sad to see it. You know what I'm saying? Now protect yourself at all times. 
Don't get it twisted. If a motherfucker coming at you, you got to do what you got to do. I'm not saying, I'm saying we got to protect your household, all of that shit. I'm just talking about the, the, the going out, looking for it, and, and, and antagonizing just because. I mean, we be so happy to see an, another motherfucker this skin color and pop before we do it to a police officer ever. Police pull up in the hood, jump out, two cars, two niggas, and can tell 50 motherfuckers to make them run and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and all yeah. this, trying not to go to jail and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that you feel me? Crazy. Fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, two of us hop huh? out. We ain't running. We get gunned down. You know what I'm saying? Like we let them. You feel me? That's how it is. Or a shootout. You feel me? On the real, they jump out with guns on us. Ain't nobody. Hey, nigga, you put your gun down, bitch. Get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, gotta get back to that. Let's get back to where we supposed to be, though. You feel me? And not just like advocating on no police violence. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying if we gonna be reckless, we might as well just tear this bitch up. Yeah, yeah. You for know real. what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be selective. reckless. going to be selective. We're going to tear it up. So we're going to be selective. Let's select not to do it to our own people at this at this alarming rate. Because right now, it's everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. That nigga's grandmas probably all know each other. Don't even know it. Yeah, for real, though. For you real, know what I'm though. saying? For real. You feel me? Shit like that where motherfucker find out later on, years later, like, oh, damn, y'all knew his grandma. You know what I'm saying? I knew his auntie. Knew that. You feel me? Like, man, we, we ain't doing nothing but killing our cousins at the end of the day, man. Feel me? Killing our brothers, killing our sisters. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You feel me? Like nigga, we we all we all one, man. We all we all people at the end of the day, man. We all one people, especially us black people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We come from that same struggle, man. No matter what city, what state you from, man, we understand that same struggle, man. No matter what. You know what I'm saying? We gotta fix that, man. That's just my little, you know, piece for the day, man. Hopefully, you know, somebody hear that. You know, and do something with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Let's get this thing going, man. Let's move in the right direction. It may not happen in our lifetime, but we just need that shit to start going there that's a, eventually, that's a man. I got kids. That's a fact, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Y'all gotta share this broadcast for me too, man. Thanks for the uh, props. Prop Mafia in the building. Gavis, Mr. Energy, Dita. I see all y'all in there. You feel me? Pursuit, salute, salute, salute. If we got any like static or any kind of, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, bear with us. You feel me? Like, you know, we we uh we we working, you know how we do, man. You know how this shit go. It don't never be nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? That sometimes certain little shit can be fixed, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we just try to keep the show going because always remember the show will be recorded. And it will be dropped on YouTube So if you can still hear the audio And the visual Be a little choppy sometimes That's just You know Just where we at The area sometimes Different shit be going on With the Wi-Fi Which be out of our control You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. But the full episode Is always recorded And gonna be uploaded With no hiccups You feel what I'm saying So thank you man Thank you Thank you Thank you Thank you Thank you man Appreciate y'all man Yeah man We is family Definitely God damn it Definitely man Y'all know we family, man. We love y'all, man. Like, I want to talk about, though, because I want to get back on some battle rap shit because I was seeing some shit today. Man, yeah, you know I, seen you in the, I seen you in the spaces earlier. I was in there. I chimed in a little bit. Y'all was talking about champion of the year for the women. Yeah, you know we were. Yeah. We were. We were. We was talking about that shit. We was talking about that shit for the women, right? You know what I'm saying? And that shit was getting crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, we was talking about fucking... We was talking about uh, Casey, Vixen, C3 name popped up. Okay. And they made a case for C3. Could be woman of the year. They made a strong right. case for it. They say they feel like she beat Vixen. Okay. Who people feel like beat Casey. But that's debatable with the, the whole Vixen thing. Though. Vixen and Casey? No, Vixen and uh, C3. C3 and then Vixen and Casey is debatable too. They were saying that it ain't debatable. Even Vixen said she lost to C3 or something. I don't like when people be doing that, man. When somebody say they lost, it automatically just mean that, oh, it got to be right that they lost. Like, like yeah, yeah, like, yeah, nigga, yeah. no. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not what that means. Like, I get it. It do help your argument, but it's like, nigga, yeah, that man. don't mean they lost because they said they lost, though. That's what I'm saying. So, they saying that. They said she also battled, was it, uh... It was somebody else. They gave a whole list of her battles, though, that was like, oh, damn, I didn't know she battled this person, but she battled, like, Caution. She battled uh, 8R14. Okay. It was like a dude or something. She battled, like, DG the Piranha. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She might have got in there with... Uh, it was another name, too. Like, it was, like, two more names, and they was, like, all together. She had about eight battles. Okay. 
You know what I'm saying? Two of them, two or three of them on Queen of the Ring, one of them on Caffeine with the with the Vixen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they like, you know what? When you look at her year in the total, you know what I mean? She had two on twos. And a lot of people saying they feel like she, I guess they, they point was she, she pretty much was winning these battles too, material-wise, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So that was their case. Now me, my plan, I'm not a voter. They got a women panel that does the the, the Wody, you know what I mean, the woman of the year. Mm-hmm. I said it was out of Casey and Vixen. I agree. I said, salute C3. Once they broke it down, I still, I get the argument, I hear it. If they make it make, it make sense when they do their deliberation, you know what I mean? It off. But for me, Casey and Vixen, for one, Vixen because she was defending the title. Mm-hmm. So to defend the title, you got some good battles this year. Whether they feel like you won or lost, you had Emerson Kennedy, Loso, C3, KCJ. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You had those battles. A lot of people say you got, you got the win over Casey and a debatable to me, but uh, mm-hmm. you got the win. You finished your title at the when it mattered the most. You rose to the occasion against the person that everybody was thinking was in the lead for this yeah. shit. You yeah. held it down. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You damn near could keep it again because it's like, nigga, I, nigga you, you was the one who was trying to take it, yeah. but you fought me and I held it down. So I understand yeah. that argument. Now, my argument for Casey was all year, though, she been in the talks, been in the running. No matter how you feel about her battles with 40, Vixen, Mac Myron, me, whoever, she fought. Mm-hmm. She was in the running the whole time fighting. And not only that, the tournament, even though she didn't win it, those tournament battles count mm-hmm. for something. You know what I'm saying? And they should count probably a little bit more than just a regular battle. You know what I'm saying? A tournament win is big. For sure. Hell yeah. You know and then saying? who she went against? You went against Twerk. People praising Surf for just beating them. She beat them the same way. Probably yeah. even worse. Yeah. Prep, prep. You know what I'm saying? Whether you want to say he's one of those top tier dudes, he's still a dangerous battler. You know what I'm saying? He does the... Uh, the rebuttals very well. He's a he's a freestyler very well, and he was going for a hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, so it ain't like you just caught him battling him in the backyard somewhere. You was yeah. battling him on caffeine with a hundred thousand online. Yeah, and he just fucked up. Yeah, his other material was good, but what this bitch did to me, like he fucked yeah. up. Yeah, and he had a, his his first his like in the first round. Of yeah, it, like when the first person he battled. Niggas was like prep looking kind of prep looking nice. Yeah. Right? So, like, so she got two good wins in the tournament. You running the geese. Geese. Come on, man. Yeah. There ain't okay, nobody yeah. too many people running getting through geese. <laughs> yeah. You run the geese, you get put out, but you do but get to make it to the final four of 16 battlers. Mm-hmm. T Top, New Jersey Twerk, Cortez, Official. You know what I mean? Yoshi, yeah, Yoshi drugs, drugs, Swamp, Nitty. Nitty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These are people that's in this motherfucker. Jerry West. Riggs. Swamp. Riggs. Oh, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, niggas is in this joint. And Jack I think it Boy. was, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, OG. Serious Jones. Nah, OG. Uh, Swave Sabbath. Swave Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, niggas, yeah. some, it's all tears, all <laughs> yeah. legend status, all in here. You made it to the final four. Mm hmm. Come on, man. And then you end your year off with a strong battle. Win, lose, or draw. You still held it down and you fought. I felt like overall, she had the toughest year. Strength of schedule probably had the biggest impact because of how how she represented female battle rap in that tournament. Mm -hmm. In there with two other women who couldn't even get out the first round. Official and Yoshi, who both was dope females. Mm -hmm. I had Casey with the slight edge. Over Vixen for me. Yeah, I agree. I think I think she get the slightest too because I'm looking at it from a standpoint of like, even even within them battles, however you feel her outcome was, she gave top tier performances. Yeah, you know what I'm saying for no a person choking, in her no caliber. Stumbling, you know yeah. What I'm yeah, like she came through. Like how many females you gonna get that from? On a on a and she performing on the biggest stage. Come on, man. she got the most caffeine appearances out of all the women yeah. too. Like. So I, I would I would edge her over that too, just because you go against Forty, and it's it's a close battle. You go right. against Vixen, former ch- uh, previous champion, woman of the year. Yeah, it's a close battle, and you I performing agree. at a high level. You gotta like I you kind of gotta get that to her. You can't give it to Forty. Forty. I agree. You can't give it to Forty. You can't give it to if you if you gonna give it to anybody, it's gonna be Vixen. Gotta be. Because if That's you're it. gonna use the C three argument, then it's like if you're gonna argue for C three, you're gonna have to argue for A Ward. Yeah. Cause, yeah. but like, yeah, she winning. She got a lot of battles, but what are the impact on the culture from them battles? Then, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's like, then you can't say a Ward can't win off of having a bunch of one rounders on, on, on small leagues. Like, so no, nah, it don't make sense. Like, come on, it don't make man. sense that way. So that's my argument for it. You know what I'm saying? 
they gonna deliberate on that. I'm pretty sure it's coming up real soon because the champion of the year and the woman of the year is kind of like back to back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it though, man. There's some other ladies in there. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? That's gonna talk that shit. You feel yeah. me? But I'm with it, man. Like yeah, give her man, give her that, get that, get that woman that belt, man. Go on and give it to her. Get that woman that belt, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like becoming a cool thing to hate on her at this point. Like yeah. man, get that woman that belt. Yeah, man. You feel me on the real? That is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we got champ in the building. You, you joining the, you joining. Hmm? Yeah, man. We, we you joining us? You you wanna, you wanna get in here, man? I think the, I think the court is in that bag in the mic too. Is there another court in there? In here. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. We got champ champagne. There's one in the black bag. In the building, popping out, popping out. You did to talk about to talk about her performance at this past event. Volume nine. And we want to know. She said they said is that who clips snapped on for talking? Yeah, man. Yeah, you got over here. This is who clips snapped on for talking. Through his rounds. Hi, you guys. You know I don't know. I ain't, you ain't live yet. This is who Clip snapped on for right. talking through his you rounds. You know what I'm saying? Hi, the studio and family. How you doing? So, the people before you got here, we was talking about the beat <coughs> out battle and the Clips battle, and they just wanted to know, like, what the fuck were you thinking? Can I say one thing first? Yes, please. Casey, woman of the year, period. For sure. Period. Salute <laughs> Casey Jane. Strength, performance, quality bars. Okay. She's giving them exactly why they had to go back and create mm. this exact category. Mm. So okay. she's giving them what they asked for. Talk your mm -hmm. shit. Put her on why the panel. I did what I did. <laughs> you feel me? Put her on the panel. Oh, my God. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> okay. So y'all can't hear this, but... Clips was was choking terribly. He choked once, okay. and then he was trying to pick it up with them yeah. little goofy ass freestyles. Yeah. And I was simply saying, "Wrap your round mm -hmm. or sit down." Mm. Like, period. We don't need you scanning the room for something else to freestyle mm. about. That's not fair. It's not fair when he do that. But you know, obviously, he was looking so hard for a scapegoat Man. that he had to pick a fight with the big boss. You feel me? <laughs> he knew he couldn't swing on you. You knocked the nigga out in three rounds already. You feel me? I wasn't yeah. talking though. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. I wasn't talking yeah, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You so, and I, we nah, had for look, but to be fair. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have did what you did. I didn't even think that <laughs> you know he would even have heard me. I wouldn't have did what you did to like him, a DNA, a Chef Shreds, mm -hmm. a Bangs, a Hollow the Don. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Even me, like a motherfucker talking too much. You heard yeah, me. You, I didn't you, 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 me. You, you go Daddy crazy. Myers, you feel me? It's you like go a few, crazy. It's like, especially clips in DNA and because they known for waiting for somebody to do something like that in the round. So for me, it was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right. And you was on beat outside. So. <laughs> The thing that made it tough was like, all right, it looks like B dot is you part of his entourage, yeah. or, like as, at that moment, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which, 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 of course, you. When fuck in with. reality, I'm, yeah. I'm a big yeah. giant clips fan. I just yeah. wanted that nigga to stop freestyling on the real. And he, I had already talked like a little bit of shit before the battle. Like basically, I created the build up for my own yeah. goddamn hang. And you like, just <laughs> ruined B dot. In no, the, in yeah, the yeah, in yeah. The you heard it. In the, you heard it. Yeah. In the midst no, of it. In the midst not. of it. Because no. now the fan in the vote. Building. In the fan vote gave Clips the, the tremendous lead because mm -hmm. that was like his best round. That was the big Which haymaker is, that shocked the world. I feel like that's world. so terrible. It is. No, on the fan base is. part because it's like, y'all see what he did. He did not do nothing that even had anything to do with this battle. Like, when they go back and they watch the replay, they're going to they like, all fucking regret playing like that because even in the bigger aspect of battle rap, B dot third was actually about not disrespecting women. Yeah, so it was. It even further proved that B dot is the better rapper because yeah. he already know clips. He already know that you you create this sexist barrier and you will attack women in battle rap. And I'm here to say it. I stand against clips attacking women in battle rap. Yeah. <laughs> nah, which is which is which is. So, but I'm just saying on the yeah. replay, it's gonna look good. I do feel like so? terribly bad. <laughs> 
for for the role that I play in just creating yeah. a, a yeah, poor because, comedic yeah, yeah, because, moment. You know, I would be I would be I would be a bad friend if I don't tell you what you did kind of was fucked up. Yeah. No, but you literally <laughs> had told me right yeah. after having. He was like, yeah, I don't even know yeah, why you would do yeah, that. I'm, I'm like, like, I'm looking. I'm like, I ah, didn't even... because I know as a battle rapper, like if I'm B dot at that moment, I already fucked up in my round, mm-hmm. and, and now Clips is fucking up too. Like you dig know what I'm saying? Yeah. Clips is fucking up. So we, he didn't fuck. get on the nigga who yelled yes so in the look, audience. So, so I'm saying, soon but, as clips choked, the nigga in the audience was like, "Yes." Now nah, he said something about it too, though. Like, yeah, the dude saying yes when y'all fuck up or whatever, but it wasn't as strong. I hate but, battle rappers. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. remember everything. Yeah, you know like, what no, he, said nah, he did, but but if I'm a, if I'm a battle rapper and I'm and I fuck up a little bit and I try to get mine back, and so now he fucking up. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. I know he's searching for his and he having trouble searching for it. Please don't, don't nobody say nothing. Him. Don't yeah. help him yeah. because yeah. now at that point it's like it's two things. First, if I'm if I'm the battle rapper, I'm like, wait, did he set this broad right here to, to, yeah, to you know what I mean? Like, yeah. was this set up for, for me to be set up? Or is she just out of her fucking mind? Like, mm-hmm. like, like with She's like, out of her fucking yeah. mind. Because, like, why is she giving one? He fucking, up, he fucking up so bad to where it's like he just need one moment. He waiting for it. Mm-hmm. And to hear it go, boom. Oh, you said something. You know what I'm saying? Reality, I'm, and then the reality, first one you let him get away with. And I thought we was going to stop right there. Yeah. The first one, it was like, all right, he hit you, but it was like... I popped champagne <laughs> and it was like, all right, that shit cool. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, that crazy. Yeah. I took off the mask yeah, to say back. I I took off the mask to say you win. But it don't even matter what I said because oh, he just needed me he to needed remove one that more. mask. He like, needed it. He needed one more. Yeah, so right it's like Fell right it ain't into nothing it, I can do about it. I already apologized to B Dot on, yeah, his, man. on his B-Dot, channel. We, yeah, B Dot, man. I, I, you know? and, and I feel like it's a B Dot Gentleman's 30 because Clips used the girl to win the battle. Baby, you was yeah, choking. Yeah. You choked twice. You just, you you feel me? It's like loving basketball. Like, bruh, you hit a girl to win a fight. Like, you can't win a fight attacking yeah, a girl. Like, that's, that's just not going to work. Man. It's not going to be the, enough. Nah, man, we gotta see the, the chat. The chat talking they shit a little bit. Oh, they going crazy. What well, they know be bleeding me? They been bleeding <laughs> yeah, 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 between you know between me. Twitter Spaces, Twitter time. People yeah. going up under my regular yeah. selfies on Instagram. Like, yeah, you shouldn't have said shit. Shouldn't like, have said <laughs> nothing. Yeah, because then Eclipse got that kind of a fan base too. Has nothing to do yeah. with this fucking yeah. event. And Eclipse got Y'all that kind of a fan commenting base. Commenting on pictures from 135 weeks ago. Talk about some bet you yeah. learned your lesson. What, what, what was the lesson yeah. that you learned after mm. that? Though? Good to question. stand on clip side and talk shit about the other person. So you ain't learned like, to just no, not talk shit at all. You just go, okay. <laughs> Look, if you if anybody pay attention, I literally got off the stage for the rest of the night because I was like, ooh, you know what? Yeah. I'm a little excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm probably a little bit more excited than everybody else. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, cause I like that. Like you got it like turned up in there. You was you was <laughs> that because you was. And I heard a few like let's go and shit. So I'm like, <laughs> she's feeling this better. So battle she likes. <laughs> you know what I'm like hey, the battle was good. Like, okay, she actually, fucking with I this. Stood, yeah. I she stood in the with audience for DNA versus Real Sick, yeah. and I went ham over DNA for even after the DNA battle. Was going Real on. Sick was like, <laughs> I thought we was friends. Like, Man. who was you? Out here doing, I'm like, that nigga was whipping your ass. I yeah, they was it. definitely like, talking this shit. But I think I catch a lot of flag for being like too far in battle rap, and still, I still want to be a fan. Like, yeah. I still want to be yeah. a fan, but I do have to understand yeah. that the position that yeah. I'm fortunate to be in, I can't always yeah. be yeah. a super fan. I can't nah. always be. No, nah, you just, can. See, the thing is this: this is what it comes. It just gotta be like in battle rap. You have to understand that everybody can get it if they choose to insert themselves. So insert themselves into the battle. Like right. if you in the crowd and you yeah, niggas ain't gonna hear because everybody yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you on stage and you the extra year then yeah. okay I'm, as a battler it's like I'm gonna notice if it look like you doing a little extra mm-hmm. than I you know, especially if I've seen you at other battles <laughs> you know what I'm saying like like wait on this motherfucker don't be yeah yeah like this <laughs> Like oh they yeah wow. okay yeah yeah like okay like, oh, yeah. so now it's catching me like okay man I know you so I can use it as a bar you've been around the culture yeah. enough to where elite, especially we're in Cali so people in the crowd know who you are and things mm-hmm. of that nature so it's let me go on in that let me go on in, you know what I mean especially if you're a freestyle okay, you know I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not even gonna be visible I'm gonna be on the stage because yeah. I like to be on the stage yeah. I, one thing about me is if if you my favorite batter I usually do stand on the opposite side of you because. Yeah. Them facial expressions when y'all be rapping, 
Yeah. They be golden. Yeah. Like the the intensity be there. So it's it's actually like I like to stand on the opposite yeah. side so I can get that good good yeah. view. Yeah, straight up. But I'm you know I'm holding down in the audience in the crowd for a few more. I see they starting to actually have a crowd. They having so. a crowd again. They back you at me? it. I'm a, I'm be in the crowd. Let's I'm, ask the I'm, people. Can I'm y'all part forgive, of the can crowd? Can y'all forgive Champ man? Because I see y'all in there going hard. Y'all going crazy. Like the whole Is she show. good to come back? <laughs> Is she good to get back on stage What's for good? a fourth battle? Y'all gonna tagging smack like don't let Champagne be on stage. All that like don't do me like that. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> she so, on probation so for like one do? more event. What yeah. I gotta do? I'm on probation for one more big event. Yeah, man. All right. Because All I right. know they felt like that for my nigga Doc. What you do know you mean what they was killing me? They, I was getting yeah. crazy DMs. Yeah. I damn near need, I damn near need Doc to go live and say that he ain't that mad at yeah, me. Like yeah. Doc, he we, said yeah, that yeah, ain't yeah, that we mad at me. Like you know that you got the gym in his 30s. You know you We need a show with you beat out and clips all together. We do. Talking about the moment. Did you see my interview on Uncle Rock? I did actually. I popped right, out. Right. I had my, yeah, I had yeah, my I three and a half it. bars ready. I seen it. Period. I did see it. I, I did see, see it. Dip the chips. That nigga ain't shit. Okay, <laughs> talk about it. Talk about <laughs> it. You know what I'm saying? Did to say last time. Volume nine though was a success. But you know volume nine was definitely a success. Definitely um, a success. All the battles was good. Yeah. Except for the battles that weren't good. We all know which ones those were. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, How'd yeah. you feel about any of the other battles? We talked about them all. Was it any other battles that caught your eye that you want to speak about? Or anything? Yep, yeah, Suge and Brandy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I actually got to do the post the post interview on Hip Hop Is Real. You feel okay. me? I be getting that work in. They, okay. they need to have a okay. award for for most present media personality okay. on most platforms. Okay. 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 You can okay. see me anywhere. And if you click the links in my bio, you can see me in all them places too. Okay, so um, that. <laughs> I really enjoy Suge and Brandon. I feel like on on Brandon's side, I feel like he showed how he made it through the tournament. Mm. You feel me? He came prepared with with performance, with bars, with vocal projection, mm -hmm. with haymakers, with um, creative vulnerability. Like he he did a lot of things to show why he was in creative the tournament. Creative vulnerability. Yeah, that's <laughs> when you make the audience feel you more than they feel in the other person by using the other person's shit. No, no, that nigga just created a category. Mad. I really Wait, got all the yeah, development. Yeah. Oh I ain't my God. Yeah, okay. You gotta break that one down because you can't just slip that in like, yeah, Boris performance, haymakers, creative yeah. vulnerability. <laughs> I'm like, creative, what, who, who stat is that? Who the fuck made that one? Damn. So that's when, that's, uh, creative vulnerability is actually what Surf did against Twerk. That's a perfect example. Mm, okay, give he, us he, that. He made the artist vulnerable to his own performance. You okay. feel me? So when when um, Brandon did the pocket check okay. and he did the bully me, okay. that's creative vulnerability because mm. now it takes away from the opportunity of Suge to do that and have a big reaction mm. to it. So I know y'all thought I'd be bushing about okay. these words. Mm. I'd be Making up, but she <laughs> gave us one. There yeah. you go. That you nigga, feel me crazy first, first, they go, first they was talking shit. Now they said it make kind of a little bit of sense to them. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, you just you just gotta be educated on comprehension. On, you feel man. me? That's all you gotta do is be educated Come on comprehension. Y'all can do this. Y'all can do this every day. Y'all think each only one know them big Come ass on. words. Creative vulnerability. That nigga said <laughs> make that a t-shirt. I believe in that one. That might be hard. You know what? I might have to. I mean, ever since I got my new fame from, from uh clips <laughs> killing me, I was yeah. trying to figure it out. Was it gonna be tummy tea, waist trainers? Was I gonna have to go public with like a, a I don't yeah. know, like something? I fuck it. I'm about to make a t shirt talk to, and I'm calling it Creative Vulnerability. Creative Vulnerability. And I'm be like, I'm be like <laughs> Champ 1 0. Clips. That word alone me? is just yeah, funny. That shit is vulnerability, hilarious. huh? Yeah, but, it, but it's creative though. <laughs> like, you have creative How do you vulnerability. Be creatively vulnerable. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you gotta, you have, no, it's not something that you can be. You have to create it. Oh, you feel me? Man. Like, if I told oh. you that your hair was ugly before you came on the show, you would be working worried about how your hair looks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, yeah. I create I created vulnerability in you. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta fuck with the kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Creative smart. vulnerability. Y'all yeah. 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 heard it here first. Y'all heard it here first, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm out here. You know what I mean? That's when you get into like an argument with your girl and be like, man, I've just been going through a lot, man. I've been having creative vulnerability. <laughs> it's things in my it's things in my life that are really not just the same. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, no. Like, like, what are you talking about? Like, it's just something that's really going on. There's a lot of creative vulnerability in my life right <laughs> I now. Hashtag creative vulnerability. I believe on, anybody on can have Twitter. creative vulnerability. Yeah, anybody yeah. can make it can make the, the creative process awkward and hey, uncomfortable. Me, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. That's and Brandon did that He did that for Suge salute, You feel me salute, He, he salute, created Brandon. that And I was actually Really excited To the fact that Suge was able to 
to be present. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Like, good shit, good shit. he still got his pocket check, but, but it looked like that he put his money in his sock this time. Mm. Last time I seen him on caffeine, it looked like a nigga got away with the money. Mm. So I was really excited for that. I love, so love, shit. love when any of the vets come back and perform well. Facts. No, you got to show them love, man. Um, I didn't get to see the sure, girls though. live, huh? I said I'm happy for Suge. Yeah, I'm really, really excited for Suge. I'm really showing. excited for the return of Suge. I'm glad that his fan base is yeah, happy Battle Rap is good when Suge is doing good, man. Yeah. Gotta, gotta, gotta fuck yeah. with the boy Suge. I feel, I feel like that about a few of y'all. I feel like that about Surf. I feel like when Surf is in a dark place, Battle Rap is in a dark place. I feel like when um, Suge is in a good place, Battle Rap in a good place, if Lux um, has a really good return. Yeah, hell yeah. You gotta have me? a good I don't good know Lux. what they got lined up for him. All that four battles a year shit is out the window. We all outside every weekend. That's Let's what we go. do every Lux, other Saturday. We need you, man. Come back. So, Come back Lux, like Sting out the Lux, rap. I had, on a three, the I had a three-headed Mount Rushmore. What did, you, what did you do? We need Lux and Mook on a two-on-two. You feel me? Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Like them together? We don't yeah, need that. <laughs> we don't need this. Guess who, though? I don't know. <laughs> they sell. <laughs> the man way. in the yeah. mirror. <laughs> the we need Lux and Mook. Harlem. Harlem. Don't no need fucking that. Way. We need Harlem, man. Bruh. Harlem Heat. Harlem Heat. <laughs> Harlem Heat. Ain't no Harlem way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Right. We don't need that. Uh, what what I, I would take that. is a, uh, a Casey and Vixen on the same team. Yeah. In an in an inter intergender battle, an yeah. intergen Casey and Vixen, an intergender two on two. No, I could do that. I feel like, like they them could two think. versus two niggas. Yep. I feel like they could do that. Them two versus him and Nitty. Yep. Since they won and two for champion of the year. Yeah, and they won and two for champion on everything. Yeah, fight to the death. There with them dudes. The fight for the crown. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you Ooh, that would lie. be crazy. Yeah, that I'm, I'm here for that. I'm here for um. I enjoyed they battle too. Um, I was really, really happy with Casey performance. I feel like uh, something I always like just tweet about that I that I want to see from her is like more vocal projection. Like, girl, get out there and lose your voice. Don't be yeah. scared to go hoarse. And I feel like she was giving. She was giving. She, she was, was giving. She was. I like how she was switching up her cadence though. That was something I. Ain't, I ain't that's really something seen I, from I, I ain't never seen from dope. her too. Yep. The cadence. I mean, hey, look, man. Let's talk about it though, man. Fuck this. No, without further ado, let's talk about this shit because I seen it and this shit got me excited reading it. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. It's about to be gun titles versus EFB on man, the right. Twenty twenty two. I was up when yeah. when we talked about the tutu, I was about to ease into that. Like and. Of people versus people, we have the gun titles versus E and Yeah, we own these boys. Could that man. be? A, could that be like a? Could y'all? Could y'all feel we up the whole that, card like that? I mean, we could. I don't know if they could. They only got like four people. <laughs> you know I, they saying? got Prestavia today. They What's good? Five, the ladies yeah. is out yeah. here. We got hustle, man. Big moves going on. She ain't even nowhere near. Yeah, she got hustle. Salute, 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 Prestavia. We fuck with you. You on the rise, but we talking about the first lady of URL, first lady E and B. You dig what I'm saying? We talking about the queen miss hustle you dig what i'm saying like it's levels That's to this shit babe. you dig what i'm saying so prestavia you you nice you yeah. de you dead nice and you gonna kill some bitches but just not this one you know what i'm saying <laughs> you feel me like 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 miss hustle ain't, ain't, ain't for them games so that's already a win we gotta put hustle versus one of they niggas you feel me you know we what i'm saying get we gotta get her blade sharp we gotta bring her over here put to her the right no, no, she, 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 she had a breakthrough year just like real name put her in there real name he gonna take care of her you know what that I want to see the riot do some co ed battles too. Yeah. I actually did. Put in there a real name. There, uh, there, there you go. There goes the whole here. card. It's a you zoo out me? here, nigga. We can do the whole I card. Smoke easy up. My nigga, my nigga, my, yeah, easy yeah, 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 yeah. My nigga Av, my nigga Av got smoke for it. My nigga Av got smoke for my nigga Rock. They was in cave gang together, but but Av ain't he ain't scared to throw no punches. He ain't scared. He throw some punches with his boy. Y'all can still be boys after he smack you around, nigga. JC, yeah. I want to see you do all that. That, that bigger head, nigga head, nigga head, nigga head <laughs> against JC, sir. That shit ain't going to work against JC, boy. That pin way <laughs> too advanced. He ain't finna be, he going to be up there like, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. 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 He, he going to rap with JC you. Fan, so when you doing all that, get your rap. man, get your gear, dick and dead, lick a sad, yeah, yeah, red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're right. Shut that shit down with JC. He going to rap with you. So you don't want that smoke easy, man. Trust me, dog. Trust me. <laughs> All that old. Six, 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 I used to have a brown paper bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but did you know that the paper was bad? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, let's shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> All you doing is saying shit, nigga. That that that, 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 that happened in the hood without rhyming. Earlier, you too. know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't saying nothing about nothing, man. I could walk on water, so could I. Goddamn well, you ain't never diluted no PCP, <laughs> nigga. Shut up. 
Fuck you out there stretching the PCP. Making up shit. Stretching it for us. It's already a cheap ass shit. Nigga, I ain't making shit up. He ain't diluting nothing, man. He ain't diluting nothing. You wasn't walking on that water, man. I'm here for that. Yeah. I'm on your ass, nigga. Yeah. I'm on your ass, boy. <laughs> yeah, we already up. Then I can switch it around, nigga. We got some more. We switch it around, nigga. Diddy got chest for the rematch. Diddy already I, ran through all the niggas. I'm, I'm here for the year to rematch. Diddy already I've ran through all the niggas. Bro, man. Man. Shout out my nigga chest, but I've yeah, we got smoke for you too, nigga. For the we pulling year up. Rematches. We pulling up the Cortland, Cortland half. You already know. <laughs> Chess know what's up. That's my boy. You know what I'm saying? We got we got rematch smoke. We got then we still we still got mo because we got B Magic man, Free G Will man. We got franchise man. We got man, Jerry West. It can we got Drake Vicious. You know what I'm crazy. saying? Like we That's can keep coming. Do you know what I'm saying? We got more niggas. We got do some more niggas. Card. You feel me? Pour the some full bag niggas. out on their ass. Jaden Jaden Nightwing. What, what, you know what I'm saying? What happened when you some more in black? <laughs> <laughs> That's some more niggas. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Come on, we you got some more yeah. niggas for him. So yeah, all 2022, we own them niggas' heels. Every chance I get, I'm on them boys' heels. Y'all see us on the car with them niggas, and they ain't going against one of us. We finna outperform them niggas, all 22. Because we've we been doing That's it all sure. year. We've been, we been, we been, sure. we been smoking because shit all year. Because I heard you year. say something in the spaces. I heard you make yeah. a point. And, and you know what? Shout out to you joining the spaces. Yeah. Shout out to EFM. Shout out to, shout oh, yeah. out to my boys over there. You feel me? Oh, they, they been trying to get you to sneak in there and creep in there and bless them with a couple of yeah. words of wisdom for Always. a minute. So oh, I'm, I'm glad you finally decided. Decided to join yeah, the movement they know what's going on. And, and come a part of spaces mm -hmm. and get him your good words. Greedy you Gotti and the dog. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a good motherfucking point. Yeah, and always. Everybody is congratulating, sir, for something that we see people do all damn. That's years. regular, man. <laughs> Nine salute, and my boy. Oh, in ninety days, I'm saluting you. I'm here for salute. you. I'm all salute, man. You feel me? Is is it's gonna salute. be gun titles salute over anything except EFB every yeah, day of the week? We you love feel you. me? If you gotta choose, you gonna go with no, who the know. winners is. Yeah, but love you. I do hear y'all out here talking this nonsense. Yeah, like everybody ain't out here doing nine and zero oh in thirty come on, come on, in man. thirty days, ninety on, days, sixty days. Come Some on, motherfuckers out here doing it. nine and zero oh in two weeks. Come on, Bill Collector just did it. Mad Flex just did it. Tournament is getting crazy. Mad Flex just did it. Yes, yeah, yeah, so I did. I did. Going, that. That's and I, and I'm rap, glad man. that you and I'm glad Salute. that you mentioned it because didn't it seem to you that as soon as you mentioned it, all of a sudden everybody started realizing it? Like, man, there goes some more of that creative vulnerability. He was trying oh, to make y'all think on, <laughs> that he was doing something. But see, now the thing about it is, you know, which I will say, and and it's and it's uh, it's no it's no fault to surf because he did what he's supposed to do three no, battles. No, he definitely. That's exactly the thing. What he's the thing to about do. it in battle rap is. Uh, recency, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. recency, like you only you, as good yeah, as, as so, the last so that's version why, of that's you. That's why usually a lot of times battlers, if if they end up running for like the champion of the year, they try to get that December battle to kind of you know because if they battle, they might have killed some in November, but if it was another dude who was in the top five killed somebody in December, that's all everybody gonna remember. That more, December they were taking a battle on December 31st. Yeah, He's I mean, making I mean, every yeah. fucking moment count. Yeah, you just wasted time. I said, my nigga, I said take <laughs> yeah. the battle champion first so he can at least yeah. count December towards the bill. You got a shot at winning. Yeah. Like if, if you got a serious, shot at winning the 2022 serious. battle, yeah. take your battle on January 1st and and spearhead the, year, the right. fucking yeah. the fucking race. A Ward ain't winning champion of the year no matter what, man. He ain't had enough significant year. That's he had what a, I'm saying. He this had a good year. year to be in it. You start in it. off your yeah. next year you? at the top <laughs> of the race. Like what you trying to get the belt? That's not happening. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> you know That's what I'm saying? Not you should go and enjoy well, your New Year's Eve, nigga. bro. Don't be somewhere battle rapping nobody. Like, nah, book that nigga. shit for the Sit third or something. Down, nigga, like, you ain't getting that. You, it, it's, it's, it's out for y'all. You feel me? It's the Geechee Gotti world around Come here. Come on, man. So and we get... already knew that when y'all cheated him out the last goddamn Come belt on, and made up all them Come on, wild so we ass back. excuses. Now so look at y'all. So we back. You feel me? But I think, like I say, well, what it is is the recency thing. So that helps him out as far as like, and then he got, it's not like he got a small fan base because Surf has a huge fan base. You know what I mean? Salute to it. Yeah, he has a huge fan base. So, and he been in the game for a long time so he finally gave his fans what they've been waiting for for a minute you know what i'm saying is to see him at the top of his game and he right now at the top of his game so he got all the right for his fans to clamor for him to be in it which i think he'll be in a discussion three good wins at the end of the year you're still in the discussion somewhere you top something you know what i mean you in there you can't be top five though. I, I, that'd be disrespectful you might can speak you know, in the top five a disrespectful, disrespectful world and it's I been an extremely in long top year in battle. I don't see him in front of me. I don't see him in front of Nitty. I don't see him in front of Easy. I don't see him in front of Danny. Danny. But he could probably get in front of Ward. He could be number. Yeah. Come on, and you're trolling at this point. <laughs> he could get in front of Ward. 
award, man. If you, if you, if you take it, three battles, but bro, he really? get it for the award, it, man. Let me tell you why, nigga. Let me tell you why. It's because <laughs> of the star power award, push. Man. It's Fuck the star that. power push. Ward ain't been on URL. That's it's that, the star that, power but, push. Bro, it's I, not I, about I just URL, say, man. Nah. I hear y'all saying that, but have you had he one owned, battle? But Bill connected battle. over him though. Yeah, because yeah, Bill, I ain't gonna say Bill. Yeah, yeah. Bill, yeah, Bill, because Bill in my top five. Yeah, Bill in my top five. Bill in my top five. Because he I would have one. Mm, he ain't in front of chess either. And you ain't gonna put him, you gonna put him in front of easy? So he top 10. Nah. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. You probably can argue top 10. You can top argue top 10, 10 because argue it's top still 10. strong. It's strong yeah. as accolades. But see, the thing is, when people forget about champion of the year, it's against the year. It's, that's what I just said. It's yeah. been extremely exactly. long. You, ain't, you didn't year. jump in the game to September 25th. Exactly, man. Your first yeah. battle, nigga. <laughs> September 25th, then you That's do some shit in October, you shit in December. People like, are we not are realizing it's January, been February, March, yeah. April, May, June, long July, year. August. People don't even realize I, that <laughs> both of the tournaments <laughs> was this year. Both of the tournaments was this year. Like, yeah. you know the the year kicks so, off yeah, in January. Ain't nobody waiting until the end of the, the beginning of the fourth quarter yeah, it's tough to for start him. rapping. Like, come it's on now. It's tough for him to jump in front of... And still got rock. Yeah, right. It's tough for him to jump in front like when they really make the real debate. It's yeah. gonna be tough for him to really yeah. like like when yeah. you break down all that other shit. Because going I mean, but the thing that I say, the reason why I said he could probably do it is because they used to do that shit for K Sean. You yeah, know, uh, yeah, like Kayshawn ain't lost a battle all year. Yeah. The difference was Kayshawn probably battle might have started earlier in the year and he'll space them out mm-hmm. from January, March. He'll go all the way to the that, end. That's but it's back still in that the, four battle yeah, year, right? Four battle that's year, that but four it's, battle but year. But it's like, you know, one per quarter. But, but, it, one, yeah, but, but you know, but Surf doing the same thing It's kind of like it's going to be his argument. Like, nigga, y'all was arguing Sean and he was in the top three every mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. when y'all would say he went undefeated. But that, you, you know what, what though? That was also before a lot of people um, don't like to consider the fact that this is a, a new day for battle rap. We have, yeah. We're getting events every Every two weeks. Yeah. These people was performing four times a year because there were only four performances. There were only four major cards yeah. going down per year. Yeah. Now we in a situation where it's two tournaments a year. We get Smack Saturdays whenever the fuck Saturday come. We get a vibe. We get three we, shit. Volume eight and volume nine was was they even a whole two months apart? Yeah, man. Been so even the, even the strength of appealing schedule. Is present in battle rap by itself, so I think that that also has to go into the conversation. It's been an entire year, a full year, a lot of yeah. opportunities. A lot of people are having a conversation about, you know, where they battled at, who they battled, and all this. And a, a lot of people are just not taking those opportunities to battle. You know, a lot of people make yeah. that extra conversation. Oh, I ain't battling this person because they ain't this person yet. And now you look at the rankings yeah. to be in the ranking for champion. And apparently all of that shit counts. Yeah. Apparently all of that yeah. shit counts. It will definitely count. It would all count. You know who name I heard a lot this year? Hold that. that I'd never ever heard of before this year. Loso had a good year too. Salute Loso. Sure. Wise. I never heard of him, but it's like, damn, I guess. Oh, yeah, he did like, a lot of battles over whoever there. Whoever is yeah, behind him is making sure that he get a lot of, they yeah. all been one-rounders, but they're, they've all been like good names. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, he must got a little Kim bad. Kim JC did three. Oh, him and JC did three. There they you did go. three. They did but three. But I never heard him until this year, and that was I him think you next, battled him, him and this next year. did three. And then I start hearing about like, okay, him and it's, next did it's three. actually other people who given the opportunity. That's why I say I'm me. down for the uh, for the rematch. He battled because a Tay lot of Rock. people did one rounders that would be better off. Why is that a good year? Three. Not a champion of the year year, but an upcoming of the a, year a, a year. A good upcoming year. I'm yeah, you know what I'm saying. Most improved battler though. Most improved. Damn, that's a tough one. It might have to. I mean, I don't want him to say he improved like that, but but like probably for the masses, I think Mad Flex man had one of those years to where yeah. like like damn man, like people wasn't talking about him Flex like that, but crazy. now look at him, him for him and Bill Collector. Like I told him, him and Bill Collector is like they in the running, and they the finna battle business. each other right now. So one of them mm-hmm. has to go to the next round. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They in that final mix of the battlers, man. It's Bill versus Mad Flex. I hate that they put them right there like the next just because I, they was two of my picks to win it that all. It was like a crazy, for me, you know a crazy saying? for me uh, it'll be clash. for me it'll be probably like Loso or Luke Castro. Mm, Luca definitely. Lou. I feel Louis like Loso, Loso. Been, been, been always around, been right? going crazy. I yeah, feel like I feel crazy, like he always been going crazy. I feel like he stepped it up more to he, where he people respect him. He got tougher now. competition this yeah, year for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. He did I get tougher it competition would have to be, this year. Both of them would just give it like different awards. But maybe titles. Easy would be most improved if you think about it. Yeah. If yeah, you break yeah. it all the way down, because last year I don't remember Easy really having no year like that. Yeah. But yeah, that yeah, means you know that he had a good breakout year because he already been around. But I guess he put the. That's why I said most improved. Because like he been around and you know what I'm saying this year was like his biggest leap. What about Jack Boy? Jack Boy did come back too yeah. though. 
comeback of the year, probably Jack Boy Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack Boy came back strong. Mm-hmm. I want to see. We need all these awards. Battle, they said he got crazy in uh, traffic. Oh, versus Jack. Yeah, I heard that was a good yeah, battle, see. man. Uh, Jeez. Do they have mm, that's some good place, stuff. places and spots and stuff? I mean, I mean, shit. I guess if you like, don't win. They said the only thing I seen around. them say was they was gonna give out some for most improved. Okay, that's okay. fine. Yeah. So they gonna have to. So that's why I asked. Have that. y'all heard the conversations about most URL improved. doing an award show? Yeah, I heard that'd yeah, be heard. nice if they did mm-hmm. that, man. That's gonna take time to structure out though. Oh, yeah, hell what do y'all think? Yeah, some, some categories that y'all think would have to be in there. I mean, you gotta have Battler of the Year, which will probably end up. Those, I feel like I feel that, like that would be you know whoever champion is. I think because yeah. cause is champion like a conditional part of URL or is it like a separate entity? No, it's separate. It's okay. separate. Oh, See well, the shit. people. That means you yeah. can fuck around and win too. You can win, yeah. It'd champion like of the Year is, is, is a is a champion of the year because the people put the money in it. They they do the GoFundMe. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And you can win it with battles that don't just like URL awards. I think will only matter battles that happen on URL. Oh, URL, okay. Like the years when I won, <clears throat> excuse me. But I, I I battled on King of the Dot also those years, you know what I'm saying? So that used to always give me the edge because it was like nigga, I was, I had big platforms both times. Like I would battle on right. on Summer Madness and and Gnome, and then I still be on Town Business and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And and mass and fucking what was the other shit Massacre and they do in Boston, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I was still doing that, like you feel me? So it was tough for me like to, to kind of lose because it would be like, damn, you you talking about this a, this a battle rap award? I'm battling on the biggest a main event. On no, King of the Dot main, main event over here, nigga, yeah. still going to the small league, smacking niggas up in between. You know what I'm saying? Only yeah. platform probably wasn't on was RBE. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, I, I think uh, if URL didn't, it was just strictly URL, then it probably would be a lot different because then it wouldn't matter because like that's what helps the case for for a lot of other people is when they do the other battles other places as well mm-hmm. so if it was just strictly url then i think that battle of the year probably then you might could win it at with like three or four battles you know what i'm saying right because then it or would like be like a landslide yeah. at the end of at the fourth end, quarter yeah, you could probably shit. win like a url award like that, that you know what i'm saying you could you could do that you know what i mean so impact of the year impact of the year moment of the year or something yeah. I think you put it into like five um, of the biggest moments or something. You did know y'all saying? catch the uh, OTFMZ awards? Didn't catch it. I don't believe. I didn't catch it. I didn't I catch think it I seen at some all that because some, I, though. I literally don't follow them. They don't. Okay. They don't produce the kind of the kind of media that I care to follow. Okay. But I do commend them for creating like a award yeah, type yeah. of type of ceremony. Yeah, I think I caught a couple of, of them. I didn't, I didn't catch it live, but I seen that people won. They actually awards gave over coffee. They Woman of the year award. Okay, salute to OTFMZ. I think that was pretty cool. I feel like it's pretty cool that they creating other places to be acknowledged and other places to yeah, be awarded. Yeah, that's dope. Hell yeah, you gotta do that. You gotta. I like that. theirs though because they had they had them good categories, y'all. They had sex symbol of the year, <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> oh shit, they wild. Yes, so they gave like sex symbol of the year too. No, 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 uh. no, no, no. I just went to go be nosy and I came across some shit. Damn. Um, sex, sex, uh, sex symbol of the year went to uh, Chrissy Yamaguchi. Oh okay. okay, okay. I was like, okay, okay. they got Standing some up. some little shit going on over okay. there, like, yeah. Okay. Oh, and, but and how do you judge the sex symbol? Like, is it like they picking pictures they post um, on the gram or something? You know what? I think that no, I don't like, know because oh, I don't sex follow symbol. their platform. You know what but I think that's, that's, that that's, that's what they did was um, polls. Chrissy, I Gucci. did they did like polls, like you know, created polls that last for like a week because you know you can do that on YouTube yeah, and yeah. Twitter. And I, and I think like in Instagram stories and stuff, okay. and they probably just tallied up like who who hit the majority of votes per poll. I don't know if that's true or not. But when I was looking at their categories, I was like, dang, they really came through with the good categories. Sex symbol of the year. I think they even had like um, best dressed or most most entertaining. Oh, word up. Yeah, like they really had a good a good list of categories and stuff. It was really it was really pretty interesting to see. What they came up to award people by, and I think that you know that's why I popped out like shit. What's good? I need to be voted best stage personality of the year. What's good? I'll be popping out looking cute. My hair be done. My ages be laid. You feel me? That's all the camera needs. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, that's you a fact. Me? You know what I'm saying? Like, but uh, nah, I that's think that's pretty cool fun. that that um a lot of platforms are creating best more dress too, more hell visibility. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't know who they gonna get best to. You feel me? You yeah. feel me? Hell yeah! I'll be stepping. You, you really? Know, as a, as a, as a, as a female fan in battle rap, I'm, I actually uh, when you battle clips, I hate to keep on bringing it up, but uh, when you battle clips, I was in the in the parking lot and I really was doing drip check. Yeah. <laughs> like I really was just walking around, checking everybody out because a, a lot of times battle rap is like just dirty and cringy and like very yeah. brolic and manly, mm-hmm. but. 
I feel like in the last couple of years with the yeah. with the West Coast influence, I feel like a lot of y'all ass and took them dirty ass white tees off. Oh, yeah. Y'all didn't found jeans that fit and are suitable for public presentation. Hell y'all yeah. didn't stop wearing shoes that Jordan six rings and shit. I feel like yeah. a lot of motherfuckers have stepped it up. You feel like, me? Yeah, you gotta step it up. You feel me? Up, I feel man. like the West Coast, the West Coast really influenced that. I feel like that. You feel me? No, we ain't seen a gang of alcohol shirts no more. Yeah. Anybody like Yeah, you gotta step. You gotta step your drip up. You know, what I'm saying? I mean, cause you know you being marketed out there. You know, what I'm saying. I just uh, what was that? The last battle, man. Uh, man, that nigga surfed with the Miri, the the the, uh, the jacket. <laughs> that shit was fly as a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. That shit was dope as a motherfucker. You know, crazy. you know, real niggas who get dope, man. You can you can respect when somebody else getting fly and getting fresh. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So that was some dope shit. You know, as far as the ladies. Uh, jazz was dope that night, you know what, what? I'm saying? She, had, she was her, dope, uh, she was clean, you feel me? Like, yeah. Boots for her Gaddis performance. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Bussing, yeah, what? yeah Big yeah. Potter shirt Potted on. up and all that, yeah, she I, was look dope. At my, look at drippy, yeah, like, she came you can through tell. Stupid. She came through I usually stupid. base people's Hustle performance come through stupid off of every time they, she battles, what they she come look like when they, when they hit the stage. Like, okay, you look mm-hmm. like you, you wasn't even rushing this morning. You look like you knew yeah. all your bars, you was able to lay out your look, you was able to be presentable. I feel like all of that plays a vital role. Salute to them people in, that's in coming out and, and you know and, and, and getting their drip on and stepping on on out there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Just but now don't get it twisted because I named some people that wore some designer shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I'm that don't, you, you, that don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> no, you can wear you can wear you can wear you can wear your own brand. Just wear some regular too. shit and be flesh. People, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, I'm talking. I'm talking. Always pop out with his brand on. I'm gonna talk right over his ass. Knock him the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 get him. Hey, yes, you know what I'm saying, but no. Like I, I said what they thinking. I said what they thinking, though. I said what no, they, they thinking, not. though. They is Wait, thinking I'm that. Somebody asking what they thinking, they thinking that, for sure. Oh, there is. They, they thinking that. thinking that. It's a uh, podcast, for sure, for sure. So, like, we, they, they can't hear. We're talking to each other. But we can't talk at the same time. Because they ain't going to be able to hear it, both of our points. We supposed to go boom, boom, and bounce each other, bounce the ideas off each other. We talk at the same time. Come on, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to. It's too difficult for you. Come on, you know what I'm saying? We definitely thinking that. You know what I'm saying? Shut the fuck up. You thinking whatever you tell y'all to think? A lot of you niggas following. Be a leader. No man, I know my people. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I know my people, and I got to get them the quality that they look for when they come yeah. in the studio, you feel me? So now, nah, like I said, you feel me? And we can finish the other uh, thing. Yes, <laughs> some people wear their own brands, and, and they can be dope as that. You don't have to wear designer to be dope. Whatever you wear, as long as you wear it right, we salute you. I, I was raising my hand. Oh, no, yeah, I'm giving you a high five. Go ahead. I mean, you, I'm tagging you in. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know the rules, you guys. <laughs> you know what I'm Sorry. Sorry. You feel me? Uh, but yeah, like I said, I, I think it just it's just the presence. It's the stage presence. It all it all aligns with yo with your fan popularity and how people follow you. you feel me? Yeah. Like even for TV shows, uh Raising Canaan. Facts. This season Raising Canaan, Raising Canaan period is like a, a designer walkthrough. Like what? Montclair dropped that, Louis yeah. dropped that, Burberry dropped that. Like Facts. it it gives a, a extra layer of appeal to you. So yeah. shout out to all them battle rappers that are showing up to not just perform well, but show up to look good too. You on stage, you performing. A lot of people can see you. Hell it's a yeah. part of your image. So, yeah. And they they had like a best dress. I didn't even see who their best dress was, but I was just checking it out to see everybody That's creating fine. awards and creating other um things to look at when you yeah. when you are yeah, so salute to so shit. salute to OTFMZ for they awards. Salute to Champion for they awards. You know the Wody and the Cody. Uh, salute to my nigga Nico. He doing the Western Conference Awards this year. Oh, you feel me? Yeah. So Shout that's out to the West. that's coming soon. You feel me? He got Baller of the Year, Grassroots Baller of the Year, uh, Crew of the Year, all that kind of shit going on. So those those will be coming out for specifically just West Coast battles and shit like that, man. So that's dope. And I think it's another person I just seen that was doing some kind of awards. So salute to everybody that's putting some awards together, giving back to their people. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make some kind of incentive because they need it. You know what I mean? Like it's dope. You know what I mean? Show some appreciation to these people, man. We might do a no studio on award. Yeah, we was yeah. giving out the studio on award at first. We was. You know oh y'all was. We for was. Niggas that be studioing, but we, we was. We, so if y'all had to say who, who who studio the most this year, it don't have to be better at it can be entertaining it, athletes, media, whatever. Who y'all feel like did not live up to the hype for this year? Mm-hmm. Studio on the word ain't that though. Studio oh, what is it? It's more so just like I thought studio was when you like faking in front of Yeah, like you was bullshitting, like you did some bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. 
So like one like, time or a lot of times? One time. Just whenever you stood Whenever young. you did it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think because you said live up to the hype yeah. is why he said that. You know what I'm saying? Because living up to so what hype? Who would y'all consider? <laughs> 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 he's going to pick on me. This, this she's creatively vulnerable. She, right? she, yeah, she's creating vulnerability right <laughs> now. <laughs> Right yeah. right now, you guys. Yeah, I just, I just feel oh, like you shit. know I can't handle the pressure. I don't know. We have to write that down and really come up with yeah. a cold list. Like I think we'll do that for the for the last show of the year or something, and try to give one out. We'll really come down with like a five man list, and then we'll just vote it off or something. Let the crowd pick who studio the most. Yeah. Episode one hundred, we can do that. We got oh, y'all. Y'all last episode for the year is gonna be episode one hundred. That's fine. We at 92 right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so we do that for y'all. Episode 100. Eight dope. episodes away. Well, technically Eight seven episodes. after this. You feel know I me? Mean? Y'all know That's what the fuck good. going How on. How does it feel to have stayed consistent? Oh, man. Before I answer that, uh, we dropping the West Side Compton podcast on the YouTube channel. <laughs> Tonight we uploaded uh, Geechee Gotti, Rick Rock, Young Shame. It's just a pilot. We want to see how it came out, how it's looking. So y'all give us feedback. If you go to the YouTube channel, subscribe. The West Side Content Podcast, which is going to be not a spinoff, but something different from the No Studio. And when you see me and JR here, we talking all of this. This going to be more geared towards Compton and, and, you know, and different issues and things like that. So y'all might want to tune in. Shout out my guy, Content Rick Rock and Young Shame. Follow them on Instagram. <laughs> For all their videos Shout out my guy Papa Z Films You know what I'm saying You know what I mean For being a part of that as well So yeah man On the channel we, You know we keeping it going uh, We got uh, Kato's will be You know doing his shows On Wednesdays Relatively raw, Relatively raw You know what I'm saying And bringing it bring, Bringing that to Wednesdays we working a uh, champ, you know. She she's definitely. I'm trying you know, to. I'm trying, trying, she's trying to get on the network. On the, they, 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 to, to, the, the people. Do y'all want to see champagne <laughs> on the studio and network? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what they Let's say. See. Hey, do y'all, y'all want, want me? Do y'all want me to have her own show? I've her been own pressing show. them since her since he brought in Kato. Show, you know what I'm saying? Since he brought in Kato. Since I seen uh okay. since I seen the different opportunities coming about, you yeah, feel me? Most definitely. I, I did start doing my little caffeine shit a little yeah. bit more consistent. I did some wild ass shit yeah. and blew out my fucking MacBook. That's yeah. why I haven't been back on caffeine. Okay, okay. I, but I've been doing a little bit of shit here and there. Yeah. And I, I do wonder if okay. it's like a wanted thing or if it's something I'm pressing on. Okay, don't let's see. Now we gonna know. We're gonna see, see right we now. We gonna know. Gonna Depending know. on what y'all say, what y'all five to one right now. You feel me? They fucking with her. Five to one. They fucking, they fucking with me. Yeah, Y'all yeah. want Temp? Y'all want Temp on little baby. show? Live. Nine to one. Live on the No Studio and Network. I know who the fuck when that y'all one can tune in. Was. Somebody ain't fucking with you. <laughs> I ain't fucking with them either. They can't you know come in. They can't even and be nice to me. In what public. would your show entail of like like for the maybe so so you can kind of like let them know like what, what kind of um, well, content you, know, so you bring? So my pitch in. is like I want to do I want to do a more interactive guest oriented type show. You feel me? Like okay. I don't want it to be all about me. I'm very long with it. I can talk all day. I don't want to have to do that. So I really want to create a more of a variety type show where I bring on guests and we just do basic regular ass shit and experience basic regular shit. You feel okay. me? You you a hot wing fan. You feel me? I always joke and, and play mm -hmm. like I'm gonna do a cook off with Jr. or I'm gonna mm -hmm. do a cook off with you. I really want to do that. You mm -hmm. feel me? And and I have I have the perfect type of little apartment, little setup where I can actually get that kind of shit done. I got the perfect yeah. name for your show. Okay. What is it? And I need a better name for my show because I low key hate champagne and chill. But it's like, what else? What else are we doing here? We chilling. You ready? This is groundbreaking right here. Yes. Okay. What's good? Name, name the podcast. Creative vulnerability. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Come on, that's gold. That's gold. For real. That's gold. For real. That's gold. You you laugh. Creative I'm vulnerability no, with you know champagne. What? It, 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 Come on. It could work. It yeah. could work. Come you on. Me? I'm trying. I, I ain't gonna lie. I am trying to be like the all encompassing. Yeah. Personality and better up. You feel me? A lot of people know me yeah. just from just from enjoying my own life and, yeah. and, and they enjoy life with me. So yeah. we might be able to do Tell that. Me. You feel me? We might be able hey. to call it creative vulnerability. How y'all feeling you about feel that me? people? Creative and vulnerability. Up in the goddamn <laughs> chat. Look how long of a title that shit is. Man, I'm telling you, that shit gonna it's gonna stick out because people they gonna be like, what the fuck is that? They said you laughing, man. You better text that I'll man. Probably That's your the, stamp. I probably have to run with that one, yeah. Jerry. Work, work me out a little logo CBC, or something. C B C creative <laughs> Vulnerability. Jared, he do all kind of wild ass shit. You really Ooh, you know. the, with the CVS logo, the Creative Vulnerability oh, Show. Oh, on me. It's Creative Vulnerability we are Show. On to something right Come on, now. man. Come on, Come on man. Ooh, okay, okay. Come on, okay. man. You you know I'm gonna be able to get y'all my show. 
If it ain't called creative <laughs> vulnerability, they ain't watching they say. Oh, damn. Mm, so now the up. show is officially called Creative Vulnerability. Come on. Coming soon to the No Studio and Network. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I can do it, yeah. though. I can do it. I, I did put the kids together with a lot of little different ideas. I created me a content calendar so I can have something to go off of. Mm. And I just want to make it fun. You feel me? I want to make it a, a weekly show where every week... I'm doing something, but I'm doing it while I interact with some of y'all favorite personalities. Facts. So you feel me? For the most part, I'm like a year in in the creative process, and everybody always agrees to do the show. Yeah. We'll see how many people pull up. So we just need y'all to hard. sub to the channel. You feel me? Yeah, the show will me? be coming on. You feel me? Yeah, get when, it cracking. Get cracking. Y'all make sure y'all be y'all be tuned in. You know. Y'all what better saying? be up in this motherfucker present, going crazy for me, okay? Because yeah. I ain't gonna lie, it be kind of frustrating. Talking to nobody. I don't know yeah. how how like regular you be prior to podcasting. Yeah. When, like there was a such thing as just like YouTubers, mm -hmm. and they just be like talking to the camera. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they do that. You gotta you gotta you, you psych yourself out. You gotta kind of just get to that point where you not print. You're not worried about talking at a camera or pe how many people gonna watch. You just gotta just get your information now. And when you do that, I did a couple of don't episodes worry about it. You'll be good. So it's so hard to do. So that's that's something you know. I got my own creative vulnerability, so it's gonna be definitely a a, a, a edge worthy, tap in worthy show because you know it's gonna be oh, me man. chilling the guests. But that's what I want to do. I want to just create more opportunities for for me to be able to interact openly and freely with some of my favorite people that's in the battle rap industry or just in the um urban industry period because i know a lot of people i know a lot of models i know a lot of singers i know a lot of poets i know a lot of spoken word artists i know a lot of battle rappers i know a yeah. lot of people yeah so i think i'll be able to do that i'm deaf terrified to carry a show on my own i don't even know you'll be all right don't, how that don't works shout right. out to jr for the days that he got to carry no studio and you feel me shout out to the big geech because he started off by himself he ain't even <laughs> <no> <laughs> clearly as we giving them one, man, yeah, they ain't heard us in a minute. Let's do it, y'all. Let's do it, man. Yeah, I know what know time me. it is, dog. Checking everything. It looks like the comments is good. I've seen a lot of good props. You feel what I'm saying? Appreciate all the props, man. Y'all keep on coming. I need my own prop, too. Can you can you get that for me? Can I get a caffeine double glass? Ooh. Shit, we ain't even got Not no Not sure prop we can yet. do that. Y'all don't? I thought yeah, I seen a little, a little prop in there for y'all. No, I think gotta, it was when you we battled. Gotta we got the potatoes. We got to. Yeah, we got a no hey, studio and gift. live on that goddamn potato. Shit. Yeah, we got a no studio and gift on Instagram. On yeah. Instagram. Oh, Multiple. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I like that. I like huh, that. left her hanging. He, he, always I did. Uh. <laughs> so he always do that. He always do that. Y'all think y'all think I care about how you treat me? I don't care. <laughs> oh, it was me? I thought it was more. He left <laughs> yeah, me hanging. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That's what I thought. Because I was switching the is. phone. I was switching the phone to, 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 to make like, sure. Because I wanted to shout out the people names who was doing the uh, the, uh, oh, the, the, the props. props. Like my nigga Gavis in there, man, with the two fingers and a thumb. Because I don't know where they get that from. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Come they, on. They, God, they got some, God, some stuff in there. The <laughs> God, God got the one that chucked the setup. I hey, be able to everybody get it, drop that one that my nigga Gavis just dropped. Let me see. Oh, God. That's what I'm saying. Shout out Gavis. They got little shit there. Barry P was happening. Y'all could get y'all some props too, cause uh, Tommy the Clown good? got props. Yeah, yeah. you feel me? Y'all can get y'all some props. I feel yeah, like we they, gonna get us some. they can get they can get the big geech a Christmas gift. We gonna get gift. us some. You oh feel man, me? that's your boy. Yeah. Twenty three stages. Come on, y'all know what time it is, man. Don't play with us. It's your boy. Twenty three stages. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit here and do I my might just sing. I just vibe, champagne. I might just, just sing. I might just sing. I might just this sing. This should be played at high volume. I might just sing cause I'm feeling it And when I'm in it she say I'm killing it Dick so big she know she feeling it She know she feeling it mm. She just wanna fall in love mm. Every night she keep on calling mm. up She know she freaky mm. I used to fuck her in the weekly <laughs> If you don't know that's a hotel mm. Wait my bad that's a motel Girl I won't tell mm. No, I won't tell your secrets. They safe with me like Alicia Keys. Yeah. And you know I'm known for slanging keys. And when I'm fucking you, she say I'm yeah. slanging D. She know I got that dope dick. She know I make her choke it down her throat with. <laughs> she know that pussy soaking, soaking wet, wet, soaking, wet, wet, soaking, wet, 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 wet. Listen to these ads. Dripping, 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 dripping. 
Damn, I couldn't do that shit. You know I'm crippin', you know I'm a crip girl. You know I'm with the shit girl. I'm with the shit. You know I'm freaking. I'm freaking. I used to fuck you in the week lane. Like. On the weekend. I said it was a hotel, but I lied cause you know it's the motel. Yeah. Girl, you know I won't tell. No, no. In your secret, secret. I won't tell your secrets, baby. Safe with me. Safe with me. You know they say. Safe with me like Alicia Keys. Mm. Don't she fuck you know with Swiss beats? Man, you know I got the beats. And I stay you know dropping heat. Shout out to my nigga Dre. Yeah. I'm talking about the doctor. Man, I need a doctor. Oh yeah. To fix my broken heart. Oh, you know a nigga tripping. Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm still tripping. I'm tripping, baby. But I ain't falling. Wait, I'm lying. I'm falling in love. Yeah, you know, I was all in the club. Sipping on club. 1942. I met a bitch, she was 42. But she had ass like she was fucking 21. Yeah. But she was fucking 21. Savage instead of fucking 23. Stages. I wrote her 11 pages telling her how I felt. And she bought it up. Mm. Shot it in the trash like. Mm. Kobe. Acting like she don't know me. I used to Euro step like Ginobili. Mm. Oh, you not for me. She started mm. fucking on the homie. If I was the old me, <laughs> I probably would have slapped her. I'm lying, I don't hit women. Nah. But I hit women. I really, really hit women. Especially if they thick women. Smack, smack. Smack, smack, smack it up. Smack, smack. Back, back, back it up. Back, back. I keep your secrets. <laughs> wow! Let's fucking go! Nigga. Why you didn't write me Come a rebuttal on. for clips? Nigga! Yeah! Where's write my rebuttal? 32 30, sounds, 20, 23 stages. stages. Crazy. Secrets. God, we dropping like that one. That's on the album. Yeah, that motherfucker sure. just did secrets. Oh, That's no. on the album. That's my we got shit. some more. Yeah, you know I'm That's saying. Right That's there. on the album. We got some more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all thought we weren't coming back. 23 came back singing. Killing okay, it. That boy it. came back singing. Hold on. He is the man. 23 stages. He can't be stopped. Can't. We got one more for y'all. We got one more for y'all before we get up out of here. I see y'all with another one. Can, yeah. we, can we get some props for that? Sir? I won't tell your secret. Secret. Oh. Secret. Like Alicia King. Oh, I got that guy. Yeah. Yeah, you know what the fuck going you know on. I'm talking stuff. about, nigga. You know I know, nigga. I'm the most ignorant rap in the motherfucking world. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about yeah, nothing. I'm talking about nigga, yeah. nigga out here, nigga with that 30 clip, nigga shit extended. Nigga know I get this motherfucking shit turned up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? A nigga yeah. already pulled up, nigga, and I showed up, nigga already this leaning. Should be yeah, nigga, turn this high volume. Up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, me and my mans on the block with a chopstick. Pop up your nigga with that chopstick. I shoot at you and your ugly hot bitch. Yeah. I call her ugly hot cause that bitch is not thick. Mm. But she got a pretty face. Man, I got a gun on my waist. Yep. Don't make me pull it out and put this fucking gun in your face. What? I sit codeine, I pop purse, I do hella shit. Drugs. Man, I be sagging real low, you know I am a crib. Yeah. I be thugging with some bloods though, I ain't sell a bit. Nope. Wait, hold up, drugs, you know I sell a bit. Yeah. I don't know why I said I ain't sell a bit, I be fucking shit. Fucking all nigga, up. No, a nigga be fucking shit, I be fucking shit. Just fuck yesterday. Nigga mad at me cause a nigga out here. Getting money, I'm fucking rich. I'm rich. Nigga, know I'm thugging in these motherfucking trenches in the fucking bricks. You know it. Nigga, know I got a motherfucking truck, you know, with a fucking six. Yeah. You nigga, know them trucks sitting on high rims, I'm talking 26. Damn. Nigga, I was thugging since I was 12. These niggas started at 26. Thugging. These niggas is whole. These niggas ain't shit, man. These niggas ain't hit no licks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out here and I'm thugging and I'm turned up. I don't know why I ran up in a nigga house and left that motherfucker burnt up. Burning. Hey, I ain't learned shit in school, nigga. That's why I dropped out. Man, I'm smart, though. Them niggas seen me in that courtroom and I copped out. And I copped out. I took 25 to life and then I ran on. And I ran they supposed to be in jail right now, but shit, I'm still out. Yeah. These niggas know my name, nigga. It's 23 motherfucking stages. Huh? Yeah, I done fuck niggas and fuck niggas all in the motherfucking face with these motherfucking AK chasers. All these motherfucking AKs. All these motherfucking AKs. Hey, I don't fuck with no fuck niggas. These niggas are suckers. Yeah. I fuck with these real niggas. 
not none of these bust niggas bust. All I do is hang with thugs, nigga All I do is hang with killers All my niggas is apes All my niggas gorillas yeah. All my niggas is riders, nigga Yo niggas is punks All my niggas will pull up and put your niggas up in some trunks yeah, sir. All my niggas is sagging All my niggas is turned up All my niggas is Hold up, man Y'all niggas got me fucked up, man. dog I told y'all I was off codeine, man I told y'all I was off perks yeah. man, I told y'all niggas at 16 years old I was putting in work I told y'all niggas at 12 years old I had me a big gun Told y'all niggas I do this shit for real, man Ain't shit man, for me I told y'all my nigga Dolph, man You know I ain't eating no cookies, though All these niggas know me in the hood I be smoking man, on cookies, bro know Nigga it. know what's happening with me Nigga know what's happening for real Nigga know out here it ain't shit sweet We'll leave a nigga killed I hit a nigga face for real With the fucking steel Slap a nigga with a dollar motherfucking bill yeah. These niggas is hoes I'm a pimp like dollar bill dollar These bill. niggas know me from the players club Like dollar bill Hey, yeah. hey, I ain't fucking with her If she ain't got no dollar bills she broke, I might fuck her and her partners Cannot chill nah. Not at my house, man You gotta go outside Sit in the car Till I finish <laughs> fucking your homegirl And I send her back what to the, the car Back to man, mom I used to take her to the club Had her up at the bar up We was sipping bar. on 1942 Cause I'm a star I'm a But star. I couldn't get her none of that I had her sipping on taco Nigga, no, that bad <laughs> bitch Ain't never getting nothing but vodka But vodka She weak as a motherfucker Man, she sweet as a motherfucker <laughs> Big old ass, man Them cheeks Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> that motherfucker looking like honey buns <laughs> Hey, hey, that ass is a motherfucker One on one Yeah, one on one Hey, 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 yo, she paid for it, ain't cheap on it. I bent it over and I skied on it. Ski, ski? Ski, ski. Ski, ski? Oh, shit. Ski, ski? Oh, shit. Ski, ski? Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's go. 23 stages, nigga. I know what the fuck going on. 32 sounds in this bitch. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? A thousand flavors is the album. Stop playing with us, man. Come on, I learned how to rap is over for y'all. Stop playing, man. Come 23 stages, shit. straight out the trenches, man. Shit going. Hey, check it out, man. Listen, man, I just got out. Nigga still on parole and all that shit, man. Just keep fucking with me, dog. No, I'm talking about nigga probably doing a lot right now. But yeah. the motherfucking folks don't know where I'm at. No, I'm talking about cause I lie by my name, man. I ain't got no ID. 20 motherfucking stages. I'm in it, bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's hood. You know what the fuck going on, man? 32 sounds. Hottest motherfucking DJ in the motherfucking booth. You know what's this? You know, man, man, stop fucking playing with us, man. Okay, my nigga Emilio and this bitch dropping bombs. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. So, what's up, man? We got one more. You want to do it, champ? You ready? I cannot. I Are you ready? You better be ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I can't even hear you. Speak. Come on, you got <laughs> it. On. Go. Oh, we got one Wait, for you. I, y'all have to give you like a word. We to got start five off. minutes. We got shit. five minutes. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh we got goodness. one for you. You should never came up here. You should never came up here. You know what's up? You know what's up? Headphones and bombs. Headphones and bombs. We're giving you one shot. But where we at? Where we, we right at? there. We here. Wherever you the at? The beat already played? Yeah. Beat already played. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just roll with the two words, headphones and bombs. Headphones and bombs. I can't even hear the beat. Oh, give her the headphones. Give her the headphones. Oh, shit. Give her the headphones. Clips is going to sit on me, nigga. You wrong. Oh, shit. I'm about to play. Hold on. We're going to get her right. Fuck you, man. We're going to get her right. Hold on. We're going to get her right. We're going to get you right. Champ is in the building. Champ is in the fucking building. You know what I'm saying? Emilio in the building. I see you. Get this shit fucking cracking. This freestyle better show some creative vulnerability. Oh my God, I'm vulnerable already. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's going to fuck down. I'm going to yeah. try to use the word creative vulnerability in my freestyle right now. So yeah, let's see. boy. I see what type of time I'm on. Yeah. Yeah, it'll give you that first. Headphones, headphones, you know what I'm saying? Headphones. Continue to share. Yeah. Continue to share the broadcast. We have a few minutes you left, and we will get it. We are getting an time. exclusive freestyle from it's Champagne. Like <laughs> <laughs> Y'all make some I noise for motherfucking man. Salute Emilio Fury. You know I see ears. you. Red Bandana <laughs> Seven. I see you. Deadly Fifty Six. I see you. I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Gavis, you know, oh, he got the blue chucks in here. You know, I see you, nigga. They get crazy. What's happening, them? Gavis? Look at them. I see them blue that. chucks, Gus. Can you hear? Serious okay, player. You always you in the building, nigga. You yes. know I see you, nigga. All right. Oh, my goodness. I'm so nervous. Oh, nah, just let it flow like water. I am. So y'all been not laughing. Just let it flow say. like water, man. You just heard 23 states. He say whatever come in his fucking mind. He don't care. Yeah. 23 don't states don't shit, fuck. man. Let's get right. it. Let's go. nigga said he fucked the nigga in the face with a chopper. Yeah, that was a lie. I go lie. I was like, it's getting so bad. <laughs> fucking nigga in the fucking face with a oh, chopper. Hey, we see they got they got they got champ on the motherfucking. Get up for twenty nine. Red bandana yeah. gave nigga the goat. Milio Fury dropped the motherfucking drums. See. Creative Let's vulnerability go. is so <laughs> Let's go. Hey, they got me on those studio and I'm just. 
about to start getting this shit flowing. Okay. I'm coming off the dome, dome. and y'all already know I'ma do what I want. What? They had what? me on stage talking mad shit. shit. That nigga Clip thought he was gonna give me that shit. What? I had to give it back. back Two back. gats in the face. Ba blah, blah. Ba nigga, why are you playing with me? Pow, pow. Niggas always like talking that pop champagne shit. That shit. Nigga, I come around your corner and pop your main bitch. Yeah, nigga. I come around the corner and slap your son up. Nigga, I, slap come, I come through the elementary school and rap your daughter up. Nigga, tie that bitch in a knot and slap her the fuck she up. Slap I her send her up. back to her daddy and get that nigga some nunchucks. Yeah, and high yeah, cool, nigga. A high cool, God, nigga. That's a high five. Can't just anybody you, come up nigga. here. Yeah. You feel me? I, I did good. Y'all got to keep going. Fuck come it, up I here. keep on going. 29 baby hairs. Keep on rolling. You feel me? I'm 29 baby hairs. They call me champagne. I be riding on these motherfucking beats. I be going insane. I ain't from Long Beach. I'm from Compton in this thing. I only hang with real niggas. I got trips from my gang. I ain't no real time gaming right ain't no full time lame. I'm a badass bitch and they just call me champagne. And anytime I can say my name, I'm gonna keep on saying that thing. Niggas, all the fuck we worried about is winners and what the winners get? Champagne. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? They call me championship pussy on the stage. And ever since then, I already knew they knew my name. You feel me? Anything that Come after that, that ain't fire, it's lame. lame. Shout out to the niggas in the chat dropping the motherfucking bombs. Y'all already know I get the same. And at this point, I'm crossing my legs. You feel me? I'm getting comfortable. <laughs> she talking to you. <laughs> Walk him down. <laughs> Walk him down. Oh, let's he, he get him. Trying to make a sound. Nigga, don't come back around. What? You can't be up in here talking down, talking about a bad bitch, talking about you don't like women, talking about you mad. We in this bitch Flip. dancing like you Bobby Smurda. You can get that Bobby Smurda. Get fuck it up. You fuck it up. Cause when you got champagne on the beat, it ain't nothing you can do but cheer along. You feel me? I got my headphones on. I done show up in my red Adidas track suit. You feel me? Got my arms on. I'm feeling real warm. It's feeling real cozy. I love my homies. You feel me? If you ain't know me, the only time you gonna see me is outside with my bro. You feel me? If you see me with my purse, if you see me with my purse, then you already know. You feel me? You gonna end up here. Feel me? And if, and if you don't hurt. motherfucking know, that's 28 fucking baby hairs. Yeah. And she ain't never motherfucking scared. Fuck clips, nigga. Yeah. Can't diss us on stage, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. Yeah. Shit. I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. That freestyle was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to me. Shout I out to me. Shout out she was cold. Shout out to the chat, y'all. We can't appreciate y'all, man. <laughs> Milio, we appreciate you. Shout out to Emilio. You feel me through we that motherfucking bomb you, in there? Man. You set me off. You we feel appreciate me? you, man. We, we appreciate get all like of y'all, man. Y'all keep showing up. Y'all, we going to keep this shit going. Gavis, we appreciate you. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate Champagne for showing up. You know what I mean? Joining the No Studio and Show today. Giving us some guests worthy shit talking that shit have fun with y'all she even gave y'all a freestyle that's exclusive you know what i'm saying that shit might end up on the shade room or something everybody can't do what she just did you know what i'm saying, you know what I'm saying? so uh we appreciate all y'all man lou guy everybody dope show today we have fun with it we will be back thursday we got uh content dropping y'all gonna see clips of this you know what i'm saying shout out my guy jr so y'all gonna be seeing clips of all of this shit <laughs> And the full episodes on YouTube, man. So y'all make sure y'all run it up. I see a lot of y'all motherfuckers, man, ain't fucking with that real shit, man. I seen the nigga start talking about promoting brands and then people doing all that motherfucker about 500 views. Man. Everything else getting 10,000 yeah. and shit, man. Y'all better stop Crazy. acting like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta show love when nigga dropping that real shit too, man. Come on now. Get on that, that YouTube and fuck with it. No matter what we talking about. But we gonna try to keep these shows a little mixture like we always do. Real content and still have fun with y'all. We can't change up our formula. You know what I'm saying? what y'all look for so trust me we're gonna keep it going make sure y'all run up the funniest moments of 2021 it's on youtube we got some more stuff we're gonna have the gems of 2021 you know what i mean we also gonna have all the pranks and all the freestyles drop on there as well separately you know what i'm saying so if y'all was like why y'all didn't put them in the funny moments because we're gonna do a whole separate video with just the pranks and the freestyles because we know people like listening to them motherfuckers and catching them back so we appreciate that you know what i mean everybody did I, man did i make it to the to the funniest moments i gotta uh, go watch the video probably, probably. i think you i might hope be i did because when my dog was attacking you i think that was this year that was this year i it think so been. it might not have been it I might have been at the end year. of last year it made it on last year it made it on last year this year the other dog would got me though <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you had there. another crazy ass dog oh, yeah. interaction. So like, shout yeah. out to those studios. Thank so y'all like, for having me. I I love coming here. Yeah, man, we gonna keep it I going. Really 
Uh, tomorrow, y'all tune in live on the, on the No Studio Network. Uh, Kato Show going live uh, 7 p.m. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Thursday, we'll be back. This show will be able for y'all to watch as well without the uh, static and everything. So appreciate y'all for sticking in. Go to the network. We're going to drop the West Side Cop the podcast as well so y'all can watch that one. You feel me? Y'all give us some feedback. It's just a pilot, so I want the feedback in the comments to say if y'all like it and what things y'all think should be done better. So when we do try to do an official episode, I can know like what direction to go with because we just trying it out. Some I want to see how it worked. So y'all, y'all let me know. Uh also check out Last Second C on YouTube. EK, the new episode's been dropping. I'm on some of them. We just seen one with Cali Smooth. I think I'm on the next one that's coming out along with Ace Amin and Loso from what I've been hearing. So y'all might want to tune into that one because that episode got crazy. And we just gonna have some fun, man. This is no studio. Yes, you could be a guest, Dita. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm Shit. saying? You be a motherfucking desk. Anytime you wanna be a guest, man, goddamn. DM us. You gonna set it up. <laughs> nah, I appreciate you, Dita. 214, 2014. My bad. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is no studio on network, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. Uh, salute to everybody all across the world, man. R.I.P. Draco, the ruler. You know what I'm saying? Uh, rest in peace to that young man that lost his life. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Uh, condolences once again to the family. You know what I mean? We already know what it is, man. You know what I mean? Like I said earlier in the show, man, we got to start spreading more love, man. We got to start, you know what I mean? Uniting, man, because, you know, we losing too many. We just lost Slim 400 and we lose him. We lost Dolph right before that. A lot of rappers man dying man and these and these dudes is talented man that's how they provide for their families man so you're not just hurting the, the person that you're killing but you're hurting the whole family man the people that probably was depending on these people you know what i'm saying so let's think about that in the future man like i say but rp not just to them but all the people that have been dying around these holidays i've seen a lot of rp posts on instagram from people from compton watch long beach la inglewood all over the map all over the world rest in peace to them man you know what i mean let, 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 let's do better man let's let these people make it to christmas make it to the new year man you know what i mean let's relax on that so yeah, that's my message for y'all man let's just chill for this december man and let's try to do better for next year anything y'all want to shout out um i got one shout out shout out to my sister she lost her granny this weekend mm. and shout out to my family i lost my uncle on thanksgiving so you know just yeah. it, it it all goes into them you feel me we yeah. we all a family y'all y'all already know that type of shit most definitely just shout out page. to shout out to everybody who's supporting everybody and, and making sure they move in a positive message for yeah. Yeah, yeah. All I gotta say is Illuminati on the motherfucking way, man. I'm on the all I gotta way, say. on the way, That's on the say. way, on the way. It's gonna be crazy. Appreciate y'all, man. When it do drop, man, y'all just support it the way y'all been supporting me all year. And if you ain't gonna support it, then. Nigga, you a bitch. I'm outside, I know my ops can't stand me. I rob a nigga in front of his granny. FN shooting hell, nah, it ain't jamming. And my bitch made a meal all scamming. Damn.